On three. One, two, three. And the home of the Jets. Mr. Primetime. Do we get a little help from the Raiders? A little bit of help? Bro, DTR, I mean, you're watching all this football everywhere. There's Tommy so DeVito. many exciting games, man. DTR moving the, the Browns here to beat the Steelers, it looks like. I'll, I'll take C.J. Stroud's halftime line for the game today. <laughs> we could get that. Psh. These games, I mean, the Browns with a resilient effort here. I mean, you're looking at so many great games and surprises. The Raiders, if they would have kicked field, kicked field goals in their last two series. Uh, They'd be going for the win right now. Two minutes yeah. left. Man. <sighs> Packers came back. They went ahead, get, went against the Chargers, and they got the ball back right now. Yep, so many wild games, so many touchdowns being scored, so much excitement. And then we have Jets Bills. Tyson's, <laughs> what's up, Elmo? What's up, Arma? What's up, everybody? Happy birthday to Alex! Happy birthday, Alex! His legend, of course, man. He's our he's our halftime analyst. You don't get his you don't get his insight anywhere else. So it's what is hammer from four o'clock game? I don't think I've done a stream with Legend at four o'clock. No, I don't think so. We don't get many four o'clock games. Yeah, he's he unfortunately he started drinking yesterday. So, so <laughs> <laughs> yep, the uh, Tommy DeVito talk is all over Twitter right now. So. As I think everybody has every stat known to man against Zach Wilson posted somewhere or another. So at least Bradley's active. Yeah, Michael Carter is out. That was big. Yeah. When the hell did he get hurt? I missed that one. I didn't see him on the injury report. I remember Gary. Yeah. Also, and Michael Carter's out in the slot. It'll be interesting. Dwayne Brown's still out. Maybe he'll come back. I guess he has to be activated this week. Yeah. yeah. This is last week. What's up? What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? You oh, ready for a big Jets win today? Is everybody yeah. ready for this? We're still on that. We are going to shock the world. It's crazy. All these games are so exciting, man. Then you watch. Washington just, has a chance now. Forty seconds left. Do they? Yeah. I don't know how. They got a touchdown with like 216 left, and somehow they have the ball back now. So just to show you the luck that I have in terms of just life, what my fantasy football team is dying a slow death. I'm like, I got to shake things up. And I have and I have Trevor Lawrence as my quarterback. So I'm like, I got, I got to make a move. I got to do something. So I traded. Ready for this? What'd you do? Trevor Lawrence for Joe Burrow. <laughs> the trade went through Thursday morning at like 10 o'clock. Oh, man. That's terrible. Joe Burrow goes down. Trevor Lawrence today is like, what, two rushing touchdowns? He's two rushing, like, two throwing. Yeah, and yep. he finally found Calvin Ridley wasn't the jack terrible. shit for a month. That is the epitome of my luck, man. That is terrible. That was a panic move. <laughs> it was, a, But I was just desperate. I'm like, I need to give the team a spark. I got to change my quarterback. I got to – because Trevor hasn't been that good, dude. He's, he's – I mean, for fantasy, yeah. Well, that was your problem. You equated the Jets to your, your fantasy life and that – Yeah, and I just, I just suck. So, Browns going for the win here over the Steelers. The Raiders have been driving, dude. They get to the thirty-yard line and then they they don't they choke. Brandon, serious. Raiders dude. This. Oh, big play. Okay, Raiders to the forty-two. A minute six left. They've had they've had 
at the end. <laughs> I'm terrible, dude. No, but no, to be fair, I won the league last year, so I took some chances this year. I mean, I drafted Aaron Rodgers. I had Garrett Wilson. I have all kinds of guys. And it's just, you know. All right. Third and five for the Raiders with 45 seconds left. Ball on 42. Hopkins going for the win in, for against the Steelers. The Browns are winning with rookie quarterback. Isn't that something? Raiders moving the ball at a rookie quarterback. Interesting. Texans. Playoff team right now. Rookie quarterback. Kyler Murray threw some, he threw some bombs, man. Yeah. All right. The kick is up. Browns are going to beat the Steelers. Well, I think Kenny Pickett got banged up in this game too, didn't he? Uh, he got something like caught in his eye, I think, at some point. He was out for like a series. So, Chargers are driving now. There's so many wild games right now. What's so the flag on? Oh, offsides. So... Jets, Bills, must-win scenario. Will the team come out with energy? Will they be lifeless? Will <laughs> – you, you know what the answer is. Have we won Have we won a game with you on a stream? The Giant game. Yes. We've won a few games with me. <laughs> I think. The fan base is divided, man. Everybody's turning to everybody here. Is nobody safe? Oh, wait, not, no, I'm thinking. Giant well, game you were here. None, none of us did the opener. Mm-mm. That was one of the four uh, four wins that we had. The Eagle game, you were there. Eagle game, I was there. I think there was Bronco one Bronco game. There. The Bronco game we won. Yeah, so I'm, I was here for two. Yeah. See, he, yeah. he's not the problem. Blame the coach. Oh, just Giants won. That saves, that saves all the pressure that was on Brian Dable, man. Raiders into Dolphins territory. 20-yard pass to Devontae. He had that close pass too, like I don't know, 20 minutes ago, where his foot was just out of bounds. Yep. So, what do you guys think? What's your score predictions today? Prime time is not the issue. I agree. Thank you. I'm punch drunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's easier to be positive than it is negative. I like to be realistic. But I was a little, I was a little more negative on my on the other show. <laughs> I got <laughs> I got attacked, man. You're like you're just the same old miserable asshole jet fan. Like, if I'm positive, you get ripped. If you're negative, you get ripped. You're just not going to win this shit. It's there to be positive about right now. I haven't scored a touchdown in 11 quarters. I know. It's, it's like we lost two in a row to seasons on the brink. We had the worst offensive football. And, like, what do, you, what do you want me to do? Our coach does nothing about it. Do I have the Alouettes or the Blue Bombers? I'm going to go with the Blue Bombers and honor the Bronx Bombers. What's that for? Canadian football? No. Oh, the the hook and oh, why didn't he give it back? Ooh, he had some room too for a he second. Did. Yeah. Look at Romeo. See, thank you, Romeo. This is what I'm talking about. Just switch from Coronas to Rum and Coke. Wish they would I, put the Dolphin game on here. But see, HK, that's the wrong way to oh, do it. Oh no. But they they. <laughs> I'm watching it on like the ESPN app. They showed oh. a pass for the Raiders going into the end zone, intercepted in the end zone. See, HK, you're making a mistake. Mm. You don't go from beer to liquor. You go from liquor to beer. Liquor to beer, you're in the clear. Beer to liquor, never sicker. Yeah, I remember those I tricks, get those man. Confu- I always get those confused. Yeah, you got to be careful with that shit. Anthony doing it. See? What's up, you Steven? Nuts. I'm not doing a turkey trot. I'm doing an eight-mile hill race on Sunday. So... I can't pick out on Thanksgiving. I got to eat right. normal. Yeah, why would you plan it for Sunday? It's, dude, it's an awesome race, man. Awesome race. The Jets are off. So like, yeah, but then you, know, you can't enjoy Thanksgiving. That's all right. I'll just eat and drink on Sunday. I can, I can eat on Thanksgiving. I just can't pick out. There's the interception for Miami. Uh, we got 9-6 Jets, 28-3 Bills, 27-21. We kicked nine field goals. <laughs> It's gonna be like thirty-eight to six. There, look, dude, look, look what he said. Look, look, at, look at the screen. Oh no, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> that is nuts. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. I'm about to put that bet in. 
38-6. Can I buy that? Chargers choke to the Packers. That helps the Jets. Jets get some help. Tonight is going to hurt. 12-10. 20 to 6. A lot of low scores for the Jets. Nobody has any faith. Maybe Zach can you know bring out his inner Tommy DeVito. Yeah. In I Buffalo? just can't watch. Dude, I cannot watch bad offense today. I can't. Like, what do you, what do you think we're going to watch in Buffalo? I, I can't do it. They got to win this game today. They have to. If they come out lifeless and playing like shit after the last couple weeks, it's just. I think you guys are talking about the coach and stuff, man. And you know what bothers me, too? Can I, can I give you my little, my little annoyance for today? It's so convenient how coming into this game, all these little nuggets of like positive thing about the Jets, like Jets will be going into Devontae Adams in the offseason. And there's going to be these changes. Dude, I don't give a fuck about next year. I care about this year and today. Like, they're, like don't start finding things like, like oh, next year's going to be our make a run out of year. We didn't mail in this year. You guys are trying to, well, but we're not going to let well, you. They they mailed in the season when they refused to do anything when Rodgers went down. That's yeah. what it comes down to. All this is just to you know, cover that up. They, they punted this season. They didn't make a true effort to go get a quarterback. Well, I got news for you, dude. If things do not things do not go as they should today, and they don't win, and they don't play well, my campaign is changing. This channel is changing. <laughs> yeah. We're getting many requests for special guests, prime time, and they will be returning to the show. I got news for you. I will go there. <laughs> this is going to be a laugher. No, nope. I don't want it to be. But nope, we're winning this game. <sighs> Just yep. hope they show up. In the words of our owner. They're like watching a horror movie. I agree. Prime time. We score a touchdown. You shotgun. I don't have any beer to shotgun. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't drink beer that much. And you, and you, as a spokesperson, a five minute beer. You don't drink beer that much. That's the only beer I do drink. Oh, see, I gotta help you out now. When I'm at home, I usually don't drink beer. We gotta talk to your boy Jay too, man. I'm trying to get hats made. Because we have the Mark the Mark V. Lee toy drive coming up. So I figure we sell hats this year and raise money for the toy drive that way. So I like that. Yep. Shotgun a truly. I've shotgun trulys before. I don't, have a, I don't have a truly either. What the hell are you drinking over there? I only got the hard stuff that uh, Paul sent me two years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit. I got, I got just... I'm ready for this one. I have, mixed, I have, mixed with a little green tea. Got oh me feeling my God. Good. Yeah, I got I have all kinds of unnecessary supplies right now. Yeah. And what's up to Ryan and Melanie too? They are driving back down to Virginia. So I hope you guys are watching us right now. So I hope you guys are doing all right. Hung out with them yesterday, had a, a beverage or two. Nice. Or three. <laughs> Maybe more than three. <laughs> All right, prime time. The countdown is on. Did the it's Giants win? Game. Yeah. Giants won. They questioned DeVito. They questioned Dable. They proved them wrong. The Jets have been questioning Zach Wilson. We're questioning Salah. They're going to prove us wrong, right? Yeah, sure. Giants got a pick six with 16 seconds left to clinch it. What's up in Tokyo? Look at this, man. You're, you're, you're depressing Elmo. I'm depressed. Come on, man. We wait. We get to the second quarter, then you're really going to be depressed. Nope. We're winning this game, dude. Turn the today. We turn the tide. Today we turn the page. Aaron Rodgers is going to be back December 16th, whatever the hell it is. They're going to keep our season alive. They're going to keep everything alive here. And of course, Simeon's still not active. Devito has more touchdowns than Zach. He's only played what three games. Even Afro didn't even throw the ball. Afrim is a changed man. He is like, he has Whoa, become is like, about? he is full angry Jets Twitter person now. He is just ripping everything now. I scroll, I, I scroll around through like Twitter. All you see him is just ripping people. <laughs> He's come a long way. I'm proud yeah. of him. You know, it's been when I got texts him, bro, you got to cheer up. Be more, be more happy. All right, we are 10 minutes away from Jets Bills. What's up, Jose? Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. 
Everybody is super excited about this marquee matchup on a Sunday afternoon. Marquee matchup. It's a marquee, man. It's a must-win game for both teams. This is what it's all about. All gas, no brakes for 2024. What, what could have been? Fuck me, man. What could have been? He hasn't had a good fantasy year. Him and Calvin really have been a disappointment. So I'm like, let me train. Let me try to get. I'll get Burrow. I'll just, you know. And the minute, like, I got it through 10 o'clock on Thursday morning. I'm like, you've got to be kidding you, me. You knew they were going to turn it on. What's up, Kevin? Oh, shit. No, Kev. No hitting your wife at any point. We don't. Oh, Jesus. We don't condone that at all. <laughs> That's nothing. No. Go hit a heavy bag. It's even it's better. Football, man. It was funny. This one Those numbers, the, the comments have been funny, man. Cause like now people are just, there's like, there's a portion of family that's so angry that they don't really watch your video. They just want to personally attack you like, or, you know, me or you. It's just funny. And I'm just, it's, it's just like, why are you so angry, man? It's a goddamn game. Well, take that on us. The fan base is always going to be divided. It's always been that way. It's always going to be that way. <laughs> Look at this one. It's just true. Us- that, that's what we are right now. We've got eight offensive touchdowns in nine games. We are you, one, one win spending? away. One win away from being from 500 what? back in the mix. Back in the mix. Oh. One win away to a crazy environment on Friday for Black Black yeah. Friday football. They win. Are I, you going? What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you know what? If, if they do win, I would like to go to that game. That'd be fun, man. You're not going to go. That's probably the most light the same going to have for the rest of the year because then it's going to be over. We're going to walk Good out point. angry, want to burn the stadium down, hate everything, fire everybody. DTR. I wanted him too when, when Rodgers got hurt. If they win, yes, it is right. If they win, we are, we're all going. We'll have a party. Prime time didn't show up to my cousin's birthday party. Bro, Sorry about that. Okay. Come on, man. I sent a gift. Did you? Yeah, of course. What, what are you too busy? What's the uh, how many touchdowns today? For the Bills or for the Jets? The Jets are going to score two touchdowns today. Two field goals. That's it. They're winning today, man. I'm telling you, they scored two touchdowns. No, yeah, there are. Maybe a defensive touchdown. One defensive, one special teams. See, now this this is the thing I'm most curious about is how they come out to start this game. If they come out like lifeless, like a bunch of zombies, I'm going to rip the living ever hell out of this coach. I don't, I don't think they're going to come out lifeless, but then once the Bills put up 10 points and the offense doesn't have a first down, you're going to see guys make some business decisions and then it's going to become a rout. Dude, no excuses today watch, for this team. Watch. No excuses for this team today. Can't be a bunch of zombies out there. Their first two drives on offense. If we don't put anything together, watch watch what happens on defense, too. Our Dolphins didn't look good. Yeah, they did. I mean, that's the Raiders had their chances, man. Raiders are playing pretty good football. Just win the game, man. (laughs) Joe Flacco, he spelled his name wrong, no less. (laughs) He He was in Cleveland this week, right? Yep. I Imagine don't care that. if it's cold and windy. It's it's northeast football, man. Like I don't want to hear his excuse dude, today. Anybody, dude? Can you could you imagine Joe Flacco actually signs with the Browns and then he ends our season in January? You want to go out there? No. What I'm expecting yeah. is Mike White to end our season on Friday. Is two gets banged, it gets knocked out. Mike White comes in, throws like three touchdowns, and laughs and walks off the field. That's what I expect. Imagine that. That, that would be typical same old Jets right there. I'm sure, they'll both do it. How many dumb penalties today? Four. Seven in the first half. Yeah, it'll, yeah. Penalties for the game be like seven penalties, eighty yards. Three of them result in big first no. downs. Seven in the first half, another six in the second half. It'd be like 13, 13 12, penalties? 13. Yes. We need. Let's go, Vinny. I'm with you, man. I'm not. I'm not down with this prime time negativity today. I'm not. And how healthy is Garrett Wilson too? Healthy enough to make plays. And you know, you know what's cool? I hope Randall Cobb is enjoying his vacation he's having with the Jets. It's gonna be a nice journey for him, right? Comes back, gets a decent salary, and just inactive every week. They didn't pay him that much. Does he still dude, why is he here? 
Why? He was here for Rodgers. You know why he was here. Then what are you keeping him for? That Good roster shit. spot couldn't go to somebody else. It can go to Trevor Simeon. I don't give a shit. No, they're, they're bringing him back next year. That's Come why. on, man. What? That Randall Cobb thing's a no. joke at this point. What could have been, Gino? Ugh. Primetime has given up. It is true. These are facts. Yes. Now, you're either a realist or you're negative or you've given up. I'm a realist. And the, over under, the over under of penalties is eight. That's cop. I'm going to say they have seven. Way over. Way over. Palau Powell says there's no way Rodgers plays this season. I don't think he plays either because the Jets are going to be out of no. Exactly. And the Jets no, are trying to. You just said they're winning. I mean, they're just in theory, he's, if uh, they win this, you know, they're going to uh, be out of it by the time he wants to come back in December. Gotcha. Dolphin fans are rooting for the Jets today. I bet they are. Eight will be in the first half. <laughs> I can't believe people actually think we have a chance in this game. We're winning the game today. I'm telling you he's right not, now. He's on what? He's based on, on just this is Come we on, just want every every game we went in today today was like oh this team has no chance this team has no chance Tommy DeVito sucks Giants win Raiders and get blown out Raiders win the game Packers can't win like all these other all these teams have no chance to win they all come back and play well Cardinals played very well against the Texans why can't the Jets do the same thing why are like the is standards he, so low for the Jets where they're allowed to, like oh they can suck today they shouldn't be allowed to suck dude Every nobody, team shows up. Nobody the Jets. they're allowed to suck, but this is a desperate Buffalo team. A team the Jets are a desperate team, too. Divisions. They've been there. They've won big games I before, don't care. And they have a proven quarterback. Proven of Who what? has sucked this year, and now they finally made a change at coordinator. So this is due for his breakout game. The revenge for, game. You know who's due for a breakout game? You know who's due for a breakout game? Zach so, Wilson. He's due. Dude. This offense is due. They are so due. He's due for a good game, period. Look. Aframs back. Where did that come from? The Jets are due, yeah. man. Seriously. What up, we've, man? We've, we've been saying he's due for how many weeks? It's so like, it's a law of averages. As soon or later, it has to happen, dude. Right? Or it's more likely to happen for the guy that actually has a proven resume like Josh Allen. I don't give a fuck about resumes. Resumes don't mean shit to me. <laughs> any, <laughs> any given Sunday. Clearly. Listen, you had Howell it's playing against DeVito. In Buffalo. Doesn't matter. Jets always play well in Buffalo. They had a chance. Play, they, they had a last, last year Mike White with no ribs. They almost won the game. I was just going to say, he wasn't the quarterback last year in Buffalo. Come on, man. It's easier to be happy than it is sad. Yeah. Yep, DeVito threw two, three. I, listen, I know what DeVito did. All you got to do is go on Twitter for two seconds, and you have everybody saying, Dable's a genius, DeVito is great, and all this other shit. I get it. This, I mean, two days ago, they wanted them all fired and cut, but that's not how this works. Let's go. We just get this game started. I know what time is it. Let's go already. 423. Fancy sucks, dude. I, I if you just joined, man. I made a oh, stupid when, when you make stupid trades. Yeah. I made a desperate trade, man. I had to shake things up a little bit. My team's been a disappointment. Including that disappointment Garrett Wilson I have on my team, too. He's killing me too. He ain't scoring touchdowns. Him, I him, Calvin you Ridley. Yep. Sir. I, I believe, man. I'll I'll take Garrett Wilson with a banged up arm. Let's do this. What's up, Darren? 42 to 30? Or would you keep 10 field goals? Well, I'm not scoring 30 points. He said 10 field goals. <laughs> That's possible. Come on, Paul. Yeah, this is me. That's what I feel. You clearly know me so well. <laughs> uh, I'm a Zach Truther now. This is going to get so bad. <laughs> If anybody's looking for a good rock concert, go see Mammoth Van Halen, man. Dude is Ooh. awesome live. Eddie Van Halen's son, he's good, man. They're really good. Nita Strauss opens up for them. Good show. Really good show. A lot of good concerts coming around. There you go, Jack. See? Oh, this is Romo and Nance today? Oh, Christ. Yep. I hate this too, man. I don't like the way Primetime handles himself on these shows anymore. It's too doom and gloom. He's defeated. I, I was positive for the Charger game, and then they let us down in the first quarter, and that was it. We still haven't scored a touchdown since. Raiders and Chargers lost. Give, give me one touchdown, and I'll, and I'll be happy. Just one? 
Just just give me one. Have higher standards, bro. Say two and we win the game. Well, no. Just give me one to like turn the overall vibe around. Oh, to change your mood. Then I can, yeah, then I can start believing a little bit. What if it get, what if it's a kick return for a touchdown? Does that count? No, I need an offensive touchdown. <laughs> you gotta clarify, man. I'll find touchdowns other ways. Oh. Offensive touchdown through the air. So Buffalo defers. Are there any changes for the Jets offense? Is Uzama benched? I think you'll see more of Rucker. You'll see a little bit of Brownlee and Izzy, but it's not going to be anything major, though. On third down, is it Dalvin Cook or is it Brees Hall? I think you'll see Dalvin a little bit. The fact that Simeon's not active today, I think is completely ridiculous. It's gross. But it's gross. And that just shows you the Jets are just – Izzy better get some run. I, I want to see Izzy and Gibson on the field at the same time. I want to see it's Dalvin Cook and Brees there. Hall on the field at the same time. That too. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's over. But the game is oh over. God. The game is over. <laughs> the game just started. It's over. We've already lost. There's no way, dude. It's seven seconds it. and the game is over. Was he down? Are you fucking dude. kidding me? I give up. I can't. I, I give it. up. He's down. He's I, down. I, tried, I tried to tell you. He's down, right? Yeah, he's down. What no, he's not. Nice. The boy's not down. <laughs> the game is no, over. Not... It's, it's over. Oh, you're, oh, my God. Dude, we haven't even oh, had a chance God. to get drunk yet, and the game's already Dude, over. this is nuts. Why, why didn't we do bingo? Why didn't we do bingo? Why do we watch this game? Why didn't we do bingo? Dude, we're fucking – we're seven seconds in. That was revenge for the return touchdown. You've got to be – now the defense is like, fuck this team. Like, you're giving us it's the ball. Over. The 20, 21 it game's over. over. We're going to be down 7 nothing before we, we even put her – Dude, this is going to be one of those, like, 27-3 to three at the half games. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding. Opening kickoff fumble. I don't wait, We that. wait all day to watch good football. The first goddamn play of the game, they fuck up. That's why I try not to let you get excited. I just can't do this. I'm going to be obnoxiously drunk by the end of this game. This is just – we may have to cancel the stream at some point because that's just not going to go well. I try not to let you. Come on. The first play of the game? This is bad. Fuck me. What happened to Gibson? He's turning into Curly. Curly didn't fumble like this, though. All right, there Gib- we go. Gibson, ever since, ever since that one game, dude, where he he uh, fumbled the two of them, he hasn't been the same. He hasn't been nope. the same at all. And, you know, doesn't – what's his face? Doesn't Izzy return kicks? He did a little bit. Well, why not try – I know you know who lost it. Hardman did. We don't need him, though. Yeah. Well, we, don't need that, yeah. we don't need that kind of guy. We don't need speed. No, we don't need speed. No. All right, third down. Come on, defense. Save wow. us from this early embarrassment. Third and seven. Look at all the time he hit. Get him. There you there go, go. Point in. See, like I said, we're back in the game already. Oof. I was waiting for the flag for like a low hit or some shit. Thank God this defense showed up Ooh. early. Jesus. All right, so we hand them three points off the bat. But it's better than seven, dude. Yeah. Good job, Quinn. Yep. All right, now we turn Now we turn the speed on here. Now we just – that okay. was a little, little hiccup we faced. Okay. A little speed bump. Yeah, that's it. He's going to shank this. He might, actually. A little windy. Mm-hmm. Oh, never mind. <sighs> right down the middle. Oh. All right. Well, we gift wrapped in three points already. Yep. Are the Jets going to come out crisp and clean and great? Boom. <laughs> three to up to the fucking... She's got to... Like... Uh... <laughs> He got impaled on it too. Self in prime time. This is a great comment. I missed the first self inflicted wound. That's going to be our shirt, dude. Self inflicted oh, wound. It has on to be. It's it has to be. be. <laughs> oh my God. On the back, positive vibes only. This is when you press the reset button on Nintendo. Oh. Is this a new Willy Wonka movie coming out? Oh my God. This is where we're going to go at this. <laughs> look at the prime time look. <laughs> How many of those movies are they going to do? Look at. <laughs> yeah. Listen, man, this this uh, suits well for our offense because we don't need a field goal to tie it, so we're fine right now. Oh, okay. I was thinking about doing hats, dude. We usually every every year we raise money for the Mark V. Lee 
uh, Toy Drive, and Jersey City Fire Department. I was thinking hats. We haven't done those yet. We haven't done hats. You're right. No accountability on this team. It's over. Uh. Gibson's been struggling, dude. He has definitely been struggling. Guarantee you he's still out there. On Of next course. Yeah, right? yeah, of course. I mean, I put Izzy back there, but what do I know? Pantera and Lamb of God. Well, that's a good one. I didn't know that was even there. All right. Come on, chat. I really can't believe they fumbled the opening kick. No. Like, how is this team going to come out? <laughs> Boop, fumble. Uh, all right. But now you're going to see Zach Wilson 3.0 right here. The whole yeah, new improvement. Sling thing. it. This is it. Kid's going to, after last week, he's going to build off that. You're going to see a whole new offense. I'm sure. More Ruckert, more Brees, more Izzy, Jason Brownlee. Brownlee. Give me yeah. some Brownlee. Yep. There's some nice connections in camp. So, see, Valen's not Ooh. worried. This is all part of our plan. Mm. Packers beat the Chargers. See, think good things can happen. I can't believe that they're already losing. Well, I have to get my secret stash pretty soon because this is way too early for this yeah. bullshit. No, it was a fumble. The ball was coming out on the way down, dude. It was moving. The first uh, replay, you couldn't really tell. And then when they showed the, the view from behind, you see the ball out. So now, just so you know, prime time, this will be a comeback victory for Zach because they're officially True. losing right now. True. That's right. <laughs> Charity drive for long-suffering jet fans. Gibson's still back there. Of course he is. That's just so ridiculous. There's no there's no aftermath of for, for pun like no punishments. Here he goes again. He gets creamed again. Why not try somebody else? No. Right? Like, why? Like, they're so worried about, like, their uh, confidence. Yeah. But, you know, they're, they're costing us just uh, whatever. There he is, Zach. Let's go, kid. Here we come, prime time. Yeah. This is Zach's coming out party right here. This is where he just lights up the NFL and says, I'm here to stay. This is it. Hackett looking confident. It's going to be a great running play right here. I'm looking forward to it. Bills are stacking the box, daring you to throw. That's definitely a run play. See, it's amazing that we know the call. We know the play calls. And then we're going to be followed by a run play to the left. Oh, here. a little late stuff there from Buffalo. Who's the offense? Who, Chris Glazer playing right guard today. Interesting. Never heard of him, but that's fine. No, he was there in training camp. What happened to Schweitzer? I thought Schweitzer was back. No, wasn't he put on IR, which is like was four he? weeks? I think oh. he was. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Personal Let's foul. go. Here we go. Here we go. Prime so I, knew time. I, knew, I knew I saw some late stuff. We got a first hey, down. Right? Look at this. First series, first down. There we go. What in that? Chris Glazer, a little extracurricular activity here. He's laying on him. What the hell's going on over here? Oh, yeah, you can't do that. Chris Glazer bringing out the best of people here. See this? <laughs> we need that tenacity. First and 10, prime time. Will they throw the ball? No. Look at the Bills, dude. They're like, they're daring Zach to throw the ball. Literally daring him. Like, come on, let's go. Right? <laughs> they are. We have one receiver out there. Yeah, of course. Oh, we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Catch the football. Oh, my God. Catch the football. That wasn't even like a like a fastball. No. The simple things. What the fuck? We... All right. Oh. Second and ten. It's going to be a running play. Like, and now it has to be. That would oh. Be even Are worse. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Well, Chris Glazer, welcome to the Jets. <sighs> Just punt that on third down. Who gives a fuck at this point? Seriously. We don't have any plays for third and long. Wait, is Zach running off the field? That was Max Mitchell just got fucking smoked. Dude, Zach was just running off the field. 
You see that? No. Max Mitchell just got smoked. Third and 20. What are the f- I mean, this is. At least they tried to throw deep. Tried to do what? They didn't do anything. It's disgusting. Can't complete a five yard pass. Can't can't block. And you can't make you can't do anything. Kind of a throwaway. It wasn't even close. Great opening drive. At least it was a deep throwaway. That's true. Hey, we got a first down. Was that was that was that pass to Brees a drop or was it a bad pass? It was a drop. Was it? They didn't really show any uh replay on that. Hit right off his hands. Did he shank that? Oh my god. There you go. Who the hell is 40? Oh, Hennessy. Thomas Hennessy with the tackle? Wow. Dude. How the hell is he, how's he down there so far? Beast. All right. <sighs> All right, prime time. The first uh, series on offense yeah. was not encouraging. No. How does everybody – everybody establishes the pass was terrible. We didn't see the replay of it. All we saw was a pass that drop. <laughs> Hit him right in the hands. I mean, <laughs> I, I'd be the first one to call it a shitty pass, but – uh, Didn't look like he threw it 100 miles an hour. Hit him right in the hands. Yeah, and Brees like look, he was like uh, he had his head up field before he caught the pass. Yeah, he started turning around before he had it. All right. So the Jets defense gets a big stop because of a field goal, and the offense loses 20 yards. Yep. Perfect. We're already in the negative. <laughs> but don't don't activate Trevor Simeon. It's okay. We don't need him. Oh, my it's goodness. disgusting, really, when you think about it. Just yep. throwing the season away. And what you see it here is the Buffalo Bills defense. They're stacking the box. They're they're coming in. They're daring Zach to beat them. Daring him. 100% doing that. The Jets going one, one wide receiver set, play action pass. Good luck with that. Yep. So. We're not scoring a touchdown today. Two. Elmo has now left my support, now supporting you. Whoa, that might be a first, actually. DeVito did good. You look at look at DTR with the Browns, man. They're, teams are finding ways to score points, man, all across the NFL, except for the Jets. Look at what Stroud is doing every single week. As a Stroud's rookie. ridiculous, dude. Look at how he's making guys around him better. <laughs> I agree. We wait all week for this shit. I was actually kind of looking forward to today, but then I started watching other games. I was like, wow, these games are all so good. I don't think is Rogers there today. I don't think he is. Is he there today in Buffalo? I haven't seen him. If he is, I haven't seen him. I don't think so. I think he's coming back to the team this week, though, right? He said after Thanksgiving, he's there full time. That's what he said. Because he spent time with family today. Too cold. Maybe. Not good for the Achilles. (laughs) Joe Flacco waiting for the call. He's going to beat us in Cleveland. Yeah, if they lose today, I don't. The rest of the season's irrelevant. I don't care. I'm completely done. Don't give two shits. This channel goes right to uh, back to our same old ways. Uh, I'm still here, man. I'm still saying you're scoring two touchdowns today. No yeah, when it's like when it's like 38 nothing. No enthusiasm. We have a special team. We fumble the ball on a kickoff, and we just went, we just lost 20 yards on offense. Yeah, but Thomas Hennessy's making plays. It's true. You're Defense not really making some stops. You're not worried about the Bills running game. It's the fucking it's Ka- it's a Kaepernick. It's a Josh Allen running around and stuff. Yep. What does Joe Brady bring to the Bills offense? He'll have a few tricks ready. You would think, right? Some kind of yeah, empty backfield here. Jets are like in some. There you go, defense. See, look, man. Look, prime Whoa. time. Ball came out, but oh. you get it. Then. No. Oh. They gained yards off that, didn't they? Dude, they gained six yards off the fumble. You can't, you can't win like You can't get it like that. You can't fumble the ball forward He's, to gain yards. He spotted it two yards unless they're moving it. He moved it back. Oh, it's third and oh, Fuck, it's third and one. That, <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> 
Come on, man. No, it's not. It's third and like six. What's what's CBS doing? Oh, okay. well, that's what I was saying, though. The one ref spotted it like two yards from the this first is broadcast doing, man. How much do they drink? Probably more than us. It, oh, funny. my God. Get him. You've got to be kidding me. That's a great play by I Josh Allen, though. Yeah, Kincaid's fucking. Uh, Did he catch it? Did he trap it? Anything? No, he caught it. Uh, great catch. He's a good player, man. He is. Pump. Throws it. Get him. Nobody there. All right. Bobbled Drop. it. Here we go. Dropped it. So here we go. Sauce talking. Second and ten. Jets defense is. They came out strong in the first half, not the first quarter. They're weak. That's one change they did make. They used to have the first quarter. They used to mail it in. They've definitely gotten better in the first quarter. Yep. Got Brendan Eccles in for Michael Carter. Second and 10 from the 43. They're showing Michael Carter on the on the names on the bottom. All right. Here you go, prime time. Big third and long here. Here we go. Still don't trust our defense on third down. Come on, man. You cannot bring this negativity to the stream. It's too early. Just, just saying. I trust them on everything. They're all we have at this point. That's true. You have Echoes on digs? That's interesting. Uh -oh. well, yeah, because we're gonna we're just gonna play our normal defense. We're not gonna adjust. Third of they put Fuck. him in the slot. Fuck. Oh, jeez. How many times we've seen? How many times we've seen the Jets get beat on that play with no. the quarterback just running for it? Why well, can't Zach run that play? He can. He just doesn't. Last week he did a little bit. I mean, he just blocks Jermaine Johnson right off the right out of the play. Damn. Where are the linebackers on that? They all got caught off balance on that one. All right. How many linebackers in there? Jeez. Oh, no. Well, the Bills are now down oh. to the 38-yard line. This game is going in the wrong direction quickly. You've backup D line's in there right now. You got to hope for a turnover at some point. All backups in there right now. Is it? Four. Yep. It was Tanzel Smart, McDonald. Um, Who else was it? It's interesting they have they have had to have an injured McDonald over Carl Lawson. <laughs> yeah. Clemens and there was somebody else. But it was all backups. Well, oh, Solomon Thomas. Yeah, they're, they're still in there and they're <sighs> getting run on easily yep. right now. Right? Yep. They're still in there. They're still in there. This is wild. Isn't man. it like a little too early for that? I mean, yeah, it's too early. Defense has been out there. How many plays? Not many. Bills are just marching down the field, running the ball. Look at this shit. Come on, man. Like, now what at what point does Salah say? Oh, here they, now they're coming in. So they played three yeah. plays. Now, now, the, yeah. now the starters come in. So you got to give up what? You have to give up uh, 15, 16, 20 yards first before you bring in your starters again? <sighs> Crazy, man. Here they come to save the day. Fresh. Second and five. Zach looking, uh, whatever. Cold? Confused? Bored? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Second and five from the, what, 28-yard line already? Yep. 27. Is, fuck me. And we're done. Um, this, Whitehead, what are you doing? Is that Whitehead or Tony Adams? That was Whitehead on the initial coverage. This Jets defense. What Adam happened at the end? Man. Oh my God, that was Whitehead. Yep. Whitehead was just what was that? Terrible. What was he doing, dude? He I, just. I don't he know. Just, <laughs> I have. <laughs> oh Jesus! I'd rather him just do what he normally does. Just go fast, and if you miss, you miss. But he, like he stopped, and then I don't know what he tried to do. All right. So now it's second and nine from the. 14 yard line. The defense is just they started out strong at the big stop initially, but now this is a 
terrible series, aided by the second string defensive line getting roasted. Yep. <sighs> well, I told you, if we fell down 10 nothing, it would start to get really, really ugly after that. And they score a touchdown here. This game is finished. Well, the, the positive thing is if they score a touchdown here, they'll open up the offense. That's when they usually open their eyes a little bit. Uh, if it's too close, they don't do anything. Second and eight. Just the Jets defense just tightens up a little bit, though, don't they? Sometimes. Oh! Bro! Damn! Come on, Tony Is Adams. Adams. Yeah. Yep. Looks like he's hurt, and too. He, he got hurt, too. I thought he was closer than that. I thought he was much closer than that. I thought he was going to pick it off. It was a low throw. That's why. Oof. Man. All right. Hold him to a field goal here, man. Tony Adams hurt. Could be, oh, could, be, could be an Ashton Davis spot now. Right? Or they, would they, they maybe they do Amos, I guess. Amos or Ashton, yeah. Ashton Davis hasn't been terrible. He's been all right this year so yeah, far. Yeah, he hasn't been bad. Oh, and then on his wrist. Did... Oh my god. This is true. The second the second Ooh, uh his pinky. Tony Adams out. Do you see his pinky? Yep. Ugh. I think he like broke his pinky or something. So now you're down Michael Carter and Tony Adams in the secondary. Yeah, this is true, too. You're going to have Ashton Davis and Eccles on digs. That's going to be a good time. Yeah, his finger was, like, definitely all contorted or something. Third and eight. Can the Jets defense get off the field? I'm muting you. Pump big, pump big, pump big. Go, 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 go. Get rid of it. Get him. There you go. There we go. Prime time. We're still in the game. All right. Defense, bend but don't break. Just need some offense. Well, I mean, it's a, I trust the process, man. We're getting there. Yeah, DJ Reed on the up. sauce. Reads all over digs. Bryce Huff did a good job there. All right. This is already a two score game. <laughs> <laughs> but this, we could be up 7 6. You never know. All right, prime time. Two field goals. Defense is holding their own. All right. Now, so now this next series on offense, let's shoot for two first downs. Let's double our productivity from the last one, right? Well, the last drive was first still down, got one. Aided, by, aided by a penalty. It's still a first down, man. We had a the, the next phase might actually be one <laughs> without the assistance of a penalty. You want us to earn the first down this time? Be nice okay. if they could do that. All right, so we got an exciting game here. Six nothing. Old school AFC East battle. Prime time. Look at your your guys trying to inspire you right now. Yeah, I'm inspired. We got to trust the process, man. Isn't that what we've been doing for about 40 years now? We have no offense. <laughs> but no, this was. Well, no, we're not into this. The scripted plays are still in because we only we've only done what like seven plays on offense so far. Yeah, they've only had two drives. Oh shit, we got more eight more scripted well, actually, plays. One, one drive technically. How many plays did they run? Seven? Four. No. <laughs> yeah. On offense? Yeah. What? They, they had the penalty that gave them the first down, and then they went three and out. That's six. No. Yeah, the penalty was on first down. Right. So then they get a oh. new set of downs. <laughs> <laughs> and then first down, second down, third down. Oh, God. We still got 11 more freaking scripted plays? Oh, we're yep. screwed. We definitely yep. scored in the first quarter. Uh, we got to get three scripted plays, man. We got no chance. Oh, my God. We have, yeah. we have negative eight total yards right now. Oh. <laughs> we're going to get a chance now, Valen. It's coming now. This is it. This is the last drive was for Zach to get just his feet wet into the game. But you said the speed of the game. Now is when he's going to turn it up. As he realizes that the Bills defense is challenging him, they're not going to. Just On a positive, we, we don't have a penalty yet. So, is that true? Yeah, not one. Ah, there we go. So we cl cleaning up our mistakes. I mean, we had the 
<laughs> the so fumble, far. but so that. far. Oh. So on offense, we had a drop pass. We've had a sack. Mm. Come the get some. On special teams. Yeah. Get some Jeff fans out in Buffalo all fired up. I remember the day. Five meds out there. Four plays, negative eight yards. <laughs> Come get some. <laughs> the time of possession already, too. Ugh. Oh, my God. It's going to be one of those, like, 45 to 15 time of possession oh. games. You just know it. It's all going to change right now. This is where it happens. Where Hackett got the memo from, from Woody Johnson, cut the shit and open up the offense. Yeah. Gibson running. Just hope we don't fumble. Running, him. running, running. There you go. Nice return. Terrible yeah. camera angle. I'm too hammered for that. Yeah. <laughs> what are we starting on? 40? 35? 35-yard 35 line. The last TD was first quarter of week eight versus the Giants. Look at these yep. stats. And, like, imagine, like, Woody Johnson watching this. Like, this is my team. I'm proud of this. Let's not make any changes. Let's keep it all the same. 129 touchdowns scored in the last two weeks. None by the Jets. Woohoo! God. Pay those so season graphics. Pay those season tickets now. Oh, we already did. Did you? Oh, we we were able problem. to cut a deal. We were able to cut a deal, but still not happy. Like I'll give you ten dollars a month for the next ten months. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but you need me more than I need you, man. I'm, I'm like, you tell the Jets. You can put I'm, just, I'm, I'm telling myself it's until Aaron Rodgers retires, and then that's it. I'm done with it after that. Only because I'd be so pissed paying all these years, and then next year they actually do go on a run, and I got to buy postseason tickets like for one year. Maybe I'll get them. So, we'll see. so, mm -hmm. all right, here we go. Second and ten. Will they run the ball again? Oh, they got is that Brees and Dalvin in the backfield at the same time? Holy yep. shit, man! It's like it's like hack and listen to somebody. They action. did it prime time. We Look we become this. an offense. We got a first down. Dude, did you see this? I this did. This is where football is going. I told you. I told you. Brees and Dalvin Cook. Somebody now woke up hacking. This is amazing. I'm so happy right now. Look at this. They can't cover him. Bradley now, next, too. And now next time you throw the ball Dalvin Cook that way and keep going back and forth and keep the defense guessing. Nope, oh, Cook is out Bra now. That's it. No. Brownlee was open on that too. Listen, man. We got a first down. I got to run it again. I, I fucking knew it. Bro, we know the play calls. We know the play calls. Stop running the ball on first down. Like, you get you, you get the first down on the pass. Why not keep passing it? Get the defense off balance, then incorporate the run. And once they get to the second and 13, third and long, like, we have no shot. That's all right. Really when that shit happens. Second and 13. I love when Garrett comes in and chimes in. Uh, <laughs> Amazing how quick he did that. I know. It's, well, he's in a huddle. He's probably pissed. Second and 13. Gibson in motion. This offensive line is worthless. Absolutely fucking worthless. Oh, worthless. God. That's not on Zach, dude, at all. There is nothing he can do when he's when he's still dropping back and the guy is already tackling him. Is Glazer they're just, like they're just like stepping all over him and not one offensive lineman does anything? Watch look at, look at 43, at dude. Sack? Watch at the end of the sack, dude. Bro, Glazer they're, didn't they're block anybody. Jamming him into the turf, stepping all over him. Nobody's doing a damn thing. Glazer did nothing. This offensive line's a disaster. What in the hell was that? You have three guys wrestling all over him. Oh, not Jesus one offensive Christ. lineman did shit. Now Beckton's. That was only a matter of time. We should be they, thankful we got we should be thankful we got this long with him. They mean <sighs> unbelievable. That that's not on Zach at all, dude. He was literally still in his drop back, and there's two guys chasing him already. Like Glazer didn't like they blitzed well, Glazer. Somebody didn't didn't pick up a blitz. Yeah. I mean, it's put him in put him in shotgun with two backs back there, and that's it. Enough of this. You can't go under center. They can't block anybody. And now Beckton's hurt. 
This is, this is just, this unblocked. It was, it, was a, it was a jailbreak, dude. They were all coming. Yep. That one guy came right in up the middle, untouched. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm really not drunk enough for this. Nope. I thought I was. I'm not. I don't know what they practice at all. Going to liquor. Whatever they do, apparently they do it well. It just doesn't. But no, 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 no. Hold on. They had a great week of practice, and the energy on Thursday was very high. Heard they had a great week of flight school, too. <laughs> Never seen me. I'll be ready in three weeks. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm like my negative emotions. <laughs> Oh my god. Beckton's holding his ankle. I'm holding my head. Who the fuck plays tackle if he's out? You move Max Mitchell over there now? Cause I guess Turner's out. Brown's out. Carter Warren Carter Warren's not. Is he active? I think he is actually. Could it be Carter Warren who hasn't doesn't he know the offense? Might be his debut. <laughs> Just the new offense. Run, run, run. No, I should start punting on third down now. Let's just. Yeah, just play field position. Yeah. Whatever happened to uh, Saffold? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's there. He's probably not in shape yet. He's got three, three to four <laughs> weeks. Did sign him like a fucking month ago? <laughs> it takes time, prime time. He's not in shape. He's probably, he's he's probably the... hanging out. I don't, I don't know how many what answers the anymore. Hell, this. We sign guys that aren't ready to play. They're kind of hanging out. Don't want to trade for anybody because they may actually help us. This is going to be a colossal disaster with Becton Hurt. My God. What are we going to do in the offensive line? Yep, there's Becton limping around. Oh, he, he's not coming back. Nope, he's done. Carter Warren, welcome to the oh, Jets. Baby. So you got a rookie, a rookie left tackle that missed all of training camp. Let's come get some Carter Warren against Von Miller. Good luck. Good yards in that actually. It's third and 19. I mean, you're not gonna throw the ball, dude. They know they can't block anybody. Now you pin them deep and just pray. I mean, no Beckton. So your line is what? It's Warren, Tomlinson, Tipman, Glazer, and Mitchell. Yep. Lord have mercy. This is just <laughs> But we're not, we're not the only team with issues like that on the O line though. You, you can't you can't have that as, as an excuse. Like I was more concerned about how they 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 couldn't block anybody in the, the play that happened. They blocked nobody, dude. It was a miscommunication, self inflicted, mm -hmm. self inflicted wounds. They kicked into the end zone. One. Wonderful. <laughs> Skip the post game. I agree, man. <sighs> we know what happens is the jet. If if the Jets happen to lose this game, if it's a big if right now. Yeah. You guys will convince me to stay. Listen to this guy. I don't want to. I'll stay. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, Carter Warren. Zach just sitting by himself. Yeah, I mean, it's. I wonder why Rogers isn't there. It's too cold. Come on, man. It's only with 50 degrees, 45 degrees. Ain't that cold. Cold can't be good for the Achilles. You can only do like the Vegas games. <laughs> it's just like... Warm weather. Warm yeah. weather games. All right, defense. You've kept us in the game so far. At least Garrett Wilson's getting coaching. That's good. Yeah. That's positive. Yeah. I mean, meanwhile, we can't block anybody. Let's look at the receivers. Give them help. Get the ball anyway. So. Yeah. He's like, here's yeah. how you run a three yard route and catch the ball. That's all we're going to build. NFL teams are averaging 38.5 punts on the year. Jets have 54. Hey, Mets. You know, we have a lockdown defense. Oh, boy. Now we're back in the zone shit again. Is that like four catches already? Freaking Cade? Look at the bright side, prime time. There's two minutes left in the first quarter. There's that. Yeah. It's been a fast first quarter. Sort of. <laughs> sneakers to boots. You can tell. You can tell the sneakers to boots is already pissed. <laughs> oh, Just we lifeless. Got, we got two more hours of this bullshit. All right. First down from the 35. 65 yards to seven. 
All right. Sauce Gardner all over it. Talking some trash. All right, so all you right. just got to worry about Kincaid and Josh Allen running the ball. It looks That's like it. Sauce. He's got it locked down. Gabe Davis is still on the team, right? They, yeah. He's, yeah. Oh, he's Beckton's done. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's what? definitely done. That might be the last time you see him in a jet uniform, unfortunately. Could very, could very well be. Very unfortunate, but could very three well years. Be. That's man. make a tackle there. They don't. They don't tackle at all. Oh, is that mostly? Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, Bills are down to the Jets 49. And they're gonna go hurry up. Mosley gotta make completely whiffed on that. Was that Mosley? Yep. Oh, come on, man. You make a tackle there. It's like it's third and five. Yep. And what the fuck was Sauce doing just standing there? He's just not a good tackler. No. All right. First down from the 49-yard line. Bills are stacking up yards and momentum, and the Jets' defense is falling completely apart right here. My God. Oh, dude. my God. That's just I told you. What what is this the starting offensive defensive line or there are backups again? Oh, it was a flag. Oh. Where is it on the Jets? As Ty Johnson flexes on us. <laughs> it's just it is Ty Johnson too, you're right. You got to be kidding. That's just that's our starters too. Oh my god. <laughs> Ty Johnson of all fucking people. She's a Ty Johnson revenge game. Oh, legal shift on Buffalo comes back. They must have watched our film. We mastered that. Come on, Prime Time. We got 30 seconds. We're out of the first quarter. First and 15. Showed pressure. They give none. And what kind of tackle was that? Come on, Quincy. Oh, Jesus. They're just flat, man. Well, I mean, they've had a couple stops already. Held them to two field goals. The tackling they, hasn't been good, though. No. They're sloppy. You, to like the third. Mosley, you got Whitehead. You got Quincy. They're sloppy to like the third like the third yard, and then they start tightening it up a little bit. But right out of the first quarter, prime time. We're not getting blown out yet. Still game. And we still don't have a touchdown. Nope. The streak continues. 12 quarters. If you're looking for a consistency, we got that. Yeah. Kevin Serkin was always right. We're going to put up points, man. I'm telling you guys. Just stay when? with me here. Just when? Stay the, when? Stay, it's coming. Special teams wins games, prime time. <laughs> we are one of three passing in the first quarter for 14 yards. Yes. That was that pass to Brees, right? Yep. Well, we should have 19 yards. He dropped the pass. Oh, okay. so it should be two of three for 19 yards. <laughs> hey, man, every yard counts in football. Bills have had the ball for nine minutes and 45 seconds already. Oof. But we still don't have a penalty yet. There we go. Yeah, we have a turnover, though. Yeah, we do. So really should only be three nothing because we gave him three points. Should. That's an old school AFC East game, dude. It's just a hard fought nail biter. Take advantage of mistakes. Right now we made one. We just got to get one back. That's all. Pick six right here. We're winning the game right now. Can you believe that? Think about believe that. Prime time. A pick six right here. We're actually beating the Bills. Or <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> and we're down by 13. <laughs> just keep drinking. And we know the game's over. I'm going to be slurring words, but a third quarter. Jesus Christ. Ugh. <sighs> Yes, we're going to score points, guys. We're going to. We have we'll to. get one or two field goals. That'll be it. This lead is insurmountable. It's not, see, Bass. It's not. A touchdown here, the game is over. 13 nothing. game is touch over. The, yeah, touchdown here. 7-6 Jets. They can win 7-6. Can you imagine? Not really. No, I can't. 
So now you have NC, you know, and you guys are worried about Joe Douglas' draft class. We're seeing another member of the draft class today, Carter Warren. We may see Izzy today. The youth movement has begun, primetime. Oh, okay. We see Chris Glazer, who can't block worth a shit. Bring back cunts. <laughs> I thought cunts. friggin' Schweitzer was back. He's still out? I thought he was out four weeks. And Xavier Newman's out too? Is he hurt? So. Let me check uh, Schweitzer first. Because, like, why couldn't Newman play gu- play guard then? Like, what do they like about Glazer so much that they wanted him to play? I don't know. I'm sure Salah won't answer that. He played a good week of practice. Not Second sure. and six. Allen back to throw. Running around. Looking, looking, looking. Get him. Flag. flag. Yep. Beckton was brought out on the stri- on the uh, on the cart, so he ain't coming back, dude. Look yeah, at Schweitzer went on IR when he got hurt. Uh, what about is Newman hurt? Xavier Newman? I didn't think so. Another holding on the Bills. Jets defense applying pressure. Bills are going backwards. You guys got to stay positive, man. We're still in this. Questionable, questionable. Back that ain't coming back. There's no way. Oh, it looks like they left Newman on the practice squad this week. They didn't call him up. Why? Because Glazer's so good? I guess so. You, you know they got Zach Wilson killed in that last play. Well, I think when they claimed Glazer, he was on somebody else's practice squad, so they had to keep him on the active oh, roster. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hit him, Jordan Whitehead. What the hell? I love how, like, when, when we have second and 16, we have to quit on drives. Yet other teams, it's just one play. No big deal. Gets Mosley out of the way. It's just like, it's just, who was late? I think Amos. Amos was late as shit on that. That's where Tony Adams is supposed to be. Oh, yep. my God. All right. This is where the Jets defense locks down, though. 28 yard line. Oh. Trying to find anything, man. Sama Thomas. There you go. Ball, 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 ball. Oh, I think we got it. Of course we didn't get it. The Jets are celebrating they got it, and nobody got it. Of course we didn't get it. No. And a flag. They never recover fumbles, dude. Never. And a flag. Oh, Jesus. In the Christ. secondary. Come on, man. It's on DJ Reed. Yep. So you go from a sack and a forced fumble to a huge loss. What did he do? I don't understand what they're calling. Right? The push? That's what they're calling the push? That's such a weak call. That's what they call it. That, that, that was the only contact there was. That is such a weak call. All right. Second down. That's just brutal, dude. That's brutal. <sighs> Baker Mayfield scoring touchdowns. Everybody's scoring touchdowns. <laughs> so the Jets had a potential of a huge sack and loss. But they don't. The Bills are on the fifth or the twenty-five yard line, second and twelve. Second and twelve. It's holding the field goal. Yeah. That's our mantra. Yeah. Twenty-two. We have seven yards right now. Sounds about right. 114 yards to seven. Yep. Seven prime time. Yep. Not seven first downs. Seven yards. <laughs> What'd you expect? Seven like, what, yards. What are, they talking about? what are they even talking about here? Look at Sal. He's got his hand. He's Sal just hanging out. Like, yeah, man, what's yeah. up? I'm just hanging out. Yeah, no big deal. It's another day, it's another like loss. Get no. this shit over with. <laughs> another day, another loss. We got our season ticket money. Prime time just paid. We're good. <laughs> what, what are they even talking about? Do what? They said the chains weren't moved on the illegal contact penalty. Now they will be adjusted. So do they just give the Bills like five yards? 
a yank on my chain right now. Like that one? See? <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. We have seven total yards, ladies and gentlemen. Jets football. Thank God they made changes this week. Made a players-only meeting. Yeah. Yep. Players-only meeting paying huge dividends right now. Now what? Second and 12. Tony Adams is out. Amos did not look good in that one play. Zach just looks like bored. Two. He look, he just looks like he's just, <laughs> like somebody talk to the kid. Look at him out over there. Give him a friend, dude. Give him a friend. Does he have nobody? Why is he by himself? Give him That's somebody to sad. talk to. It's so sad. Like, get me the fuck out of the stadium. Oh, nice play. Woo. DJ Reed. Nice hit. Somebody give Zach a friend, man. Come on. Somebody go sit next to him just talk. Poor kid. Like, what is Tim Boyle doing? I actually doing? feel bad for him. Like, what is Tim Boyle doing? He's got nothing to do. Sit next to Zach and talk to him. What is Trevor Simeon doing? He can't sit around and talk to him? Nobody? Anything? Maybe they don't want to. <laughs> All right, prime time. Third and 13. Well, we already gave up a second and 16, so this would be fitting if they gave this up. Third and 13. Let's go. 27-yard line. Plenty of pressure. All right. They might go for it. They may Fourth go for this. Two? Nope. Sean McDermott's a wimp. Scared. He's scared of us, dude. He's scared he's not going to get it. Well, no, it makes sense because we're not going to score any points. So, yeah, but dude, if you go for it, if you go for it and get a touchdown, wins the game here. <laughs> that is true, but nine points is also two possessions. Could and... be insurmountable. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, the defense is definitely holding their own. They're facing some adversity, injuries, and. Kick is up. It's Bend, good. but don't break. They're not breaking. Nine to nothing. Nine to nothing. This is some quality so football right gross. here. Three and out incoming. Well, it's going to start with you got to get a good return. None of it matters. <sighs> we have seven yards right now in the second quarter. I was just pulling up all the stats. <laughs> he goes every time they show Zach, it's like he's scouting for mills. Dude, Zach looked like he knows what stadium is, and he's looking around like, what's going on around here? Like, wow, <laughs> look at all these bright lights. You know, he's got the... He's, <laughs> he's looking, looking around. Person. He's like, huh, I wonder how we get out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's trying to make an escape route. Uh, we're only down three field goals, man. It's not insurmountable. It's true. To be yeah, to be fair, one each quarter, win it in overtime, 12 9. To be fair, the last one was the offensive line just was a disaster. Now Beckton's hurt. So now it's like, can you even protect them? But why not go back to that same thing with Brees Hall and Dalvin Cook in the backfield together? Keep doing that and put Zach in the, sh the shotgun or something. Yeah, two tight ends, give your tackles some help, two backs, and then Gary Wilson, your, your lone receiver. Oh. <sighs> Prime time, please smile. You're breaking my heart. What's there oh. a smile about? This team sucks. The Bills have more points than we have yards. That's a good stat. That's, yep. Seven they yards. They many... lose the same way every goddamn week. Uh, that's right. Positive thinking. We're only down three field goals, man. Yeah. I'm with you, Brendan. Listen, we need one, like, just... Broken play here. It's 9 7. We're right back in the game. Well, all of our plays are broken. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit broken on the Buffalo's car. <sighs> Don't worry. Aaron Rodgers will not come back this year. Don't worry. I, I'm convinced he's no. not coming back. There's no, there'll be no reason to. Because the caveat's always been that the games are important. They matter. They're not going to. They lose so. this game and then next week to Miami. That's it. Four and seven. Bro, can you? I'll tell you right now, the Jets lose today. That game on Friday is going to be about 40,000 Dolphin fans. I think it already is the way yeah. prices are. They, tra they travel well, man. Yep. Oh, there's Zach. Look at that. You got a little pep in his step right now. He's ready to go, yeah. dude. 
Let's do this. Still nobody even talking to him. But you know why he's getting like that? Because he's going to be running for his life shortly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's just like, I guess, got his track shoes legs on. Ready. But why not do like run pass option with him now? Like let him run around. They can't protect him. So fuck it. That end zone looks so dark over there, doesn't it? It does. Is that just me? Or it does, right? It does. They not have lights? Can they, can they afford lights in Buffalo? Like, what are they doing? I don't know. They're late to come on. Four o'clock game. Look at look at 43 coming until like, Zach's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> just, was, like, it, was that on Cook? Because he didn't block anybody. No, he didn't block anybody either. And, and Zach actually avoided 43. The other guy got him. It was like it was like a twofer. Oh. That one might have been on Cook. Because he didn't pick up anybody on that. One of three, 14 yards. All right, prime time. You ready? First and 10 from the 25. Yep. Garrett Wilson in motion. And off. Watch. Look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why not run with it, dude? Why did he dirt He's this? Scared. Why did he dirt this? He had room. Garrett's just hanging out, not why even running he, Why didn't he run this? What kind of why did he not run play, with what that? What play call was this? What the fuck was that? He's like, yeah, this play, I'm done. Fuck this. Like, what? Oh, my God. Bro, like, what was that? They're going to run the ball here. I mean, this is just fucking ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you have to. Dude. Second and ten. Now this you have is to absolutely ridiculous, dude. Embarrassing. You, you got to be fucking kidding me with this now. Embarrassing. The kid's giving away plays, and you run the ball. So second and ten run, third and long fucking sack punt. This is fucking gross. This is ridiculous, dude. What Guaranteed it doesn't even go beyond the marker here. No, it's going to be a five-yard pass. Check down. Yeah, a little check down. This is disgusting. Look at the pressure. They're coming after him, too. Like, they don't give a shit. They're daring Zach to beat him, and he can't because they can't block. Mitchell sucks, dude. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. They can't block they anybody. Suck, they can't fucking block anybody. This is fucking ridiculous. I think we have negative yards now. Look at Dalvin Cook. Look at, look at, look at Mitchell, dude. What is Mitchell doing? What is he doing? I don't know what Cook was doing either. Garrett there's, was open, pissed off. There's nothing, dude. There's nothing Zach can do with this. Zach sucks. There's nothing he can do with this. They're not gonna block worth an ounce for him. This game's fucking over. It's over. There's, they have no shot to win this game. This would be a fucking thirty to nothing game because they didn't get score any points. They've got to be negative yards now, right? <laughs> like, <good fucking. laughs> That's what I was just trying to look for. They have negative nine passing yards. Somehow this team is finding ways to get worse. incredible this is unbelievable dude like why are we surprised i mean this is for two years now this is how games have been going and if you know your offensive line can't block for more than three seconds like where's the creativity like some end arounds some quick check downs like anything you can't you can't go under center you gotta go you gotta go like Two guys in the back. You got to go like two running backs in the backfield with them. You have to, dude. Will the Jets even end the game with positive yards? <laughs> they might not. They might not. This is disgusting. They, they, they just get worse. Like when you think it's rock bottom, they still just go further and further down. I, We've been sacked three times for 23 yards already. I mean, this is just this is just disgusting. Like, I don't like I wish they would show the first that first down play where Zach just dirted the ball. Like he just ran like, ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah, he gave he, up on it. He looked like good or he could have ran and got four or five yards there. No, or at least, yep. at least just do something to try to extend the play. Anything. He yep. just literally quit on the play. And they can't block. Dude, Mitchell is getting just roasted by Miller. Glazer sucks. Well, who else Beck do they have out. now? Who else do they have? 
They have nobody. Dwayne Brown's on the fucking eight the eight month program. Jesus Christ. This game is a disaster, an absolute disaster. Every other team in the NFL can have a functional fucking offense but the Jets. Every fucking team. Rookie quarterback, rookie head coach, interim head coach, whatever it is, they can score fucking points. We can't even get goddamn positive yards now. I don't know why you're surprised. This is terrible, dude. The same friggin' story for two years. Really, for a decade, it's been the same story, but... Just blow it up. I don't give a fuck about Devontae Adams coming here next year. I don't give a fuck. I have no faith in this coaching staff whatsoever. None. They whether, don't... Whether, whether you do or not, do you actually think anybody's going to be held accountable for this mess this year? No. So They won't even activate won't Trevor fucking that. Simeon. This is just – the defense is going to quit. The defense is 100% going to quit now. You know they are. Yep. They're going oh, to get tired, and they're going to quit. Yep. They, yep. This is just a matter of time for that. This drive or the next. Yep. They're going to 100% them. mail this shit in. I don't care about Aaron Rodgers coming back this year. Can you imagine him behind this offensive line? He'd be hurt again. It's over. Everybody get in your head. It's fucking over. He's not coming back, and they're not going to win games. Jesus Christ. It's going to be sad when he has that press conference saying that, oh, you know, I I, I would have been ready, but yeah, season's the team, over. Yeah. But oh. unfortunately, unfortunately, the Jets couldn't get more than uh, 100 yards of fucking offense in a game every week. And we can't tackle today. But. You know the defense can do this, dude. They've only given up what? Really, they've only given up six points to this point because they, they were gifted three. And the offense is doing absolutely nothing once again. There you go, Sal. Keeps there. You go. Hey, Sal's talk. There's Zach by himself on the fucking bench, talking to nobody, and Sal having a conversation with the fucking line judge. There hasn't been anybody near him today. Nope. Because Aaron Rodgers is in fucking California. Yep. What is Tim Boyle doing? What is fucking? What is Brian Calabrese doing? What's the quarterback coach doing? Is he on the field? Like, what is he getting paid for? Look, at him. he's just sitting there. I'm like, ah, oh, no big deal. How about you show him the plays on the fucking iPad? Hey, here's how you fix things, dude. Look for this. Look out for that. Call this protection. What do I know? I'm just a drunk fan. Fucking, this is just... Dude, I agree. Sala is not a good head coach at all. And they've justified losing way too much with this team. Oh, Jesus. Jordan Whitehead just crushed him. Oh. Oof, nice hit. I don't know why we're celebrating. Down 9 nothing. This is, I mean, Hackett, Sala, they're all terrible, dude. This is just bad football. They look literally incompetent on offense. See, these, these are plays that Zach just quits on. Yep. Yeah, he dumps it. He just turns it. Yeah, and look what Allen does. Turns into eight yards. Another first down. Like, what? what is the yards going to be at halftime? Like, what, 250 to fucking negative three? It's probably what it's on pace for right now. Come on, man. It's unwatchable. It literally is unwatchable. That's the, that's the, it is. It's 100% unwatchable. There's nothing enjoyable about this shit. 149 to 23 right now on yards. It was Jomo. But see, Jomo, the, the problem I have is the fact the way they handle the back of quarterback position should be a fireball offense because you literally cost yourself the whole fucking season. And they did it three different times. They did it in the preseason, they did it week one, and they did it at the trade deadline. Three goddamn times they did it. It's a fact. They doubled down on Zach. They tripled down on Zach. They stuck by him, stuck by him. And here you are. The worst offense in football. And they still refuse to do anything. Still. Trevor Simeon's still e not a Even if they would have made a move, I'm not even sure Salah would have made a change. That's just so a fireable stupid. offense, man. It's a fireable offense. Like, even, even to be honest with you, like, and I don't give a fuck if you don't like Mike White or not. If you could have made a better case from keeping Mike White this year than Zach Wilson, but they're worried about the fucking money. And Aaron Rodgers being a mentor. How'd that work out for you? How'd the Aaron Rodgers magic work out for you? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Well, they're down.
All right. That wasn't a hold right there on Huff. Third and seven from the what? 40, what? 38. 40, 38 yard line. I think the booze is kicking a little bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> they might go for this if they don't get it. That's a long field goal if they go for this, right? It's going to be thinking. You don't think so? Uh, do they go for it? No. It's 55 yards. I mean, you know, you once you get the double oh, digits points, you're winning the game. Happy. Probably going to make the Jets jump off sides here, get a free play. Watch. Michael Carter was the problem on offense. Yep, he was. Yep. Accountability, my friend. Yep, that's right. Still haven't seen Izzy in the game yet. <laughs> okay. It's about opportunities, man. We end up plays to get our guys on the field. No Bradley, There's no, way no we Izzy. actually want to play here. They try and drum off sides. He He's not did stopping us. He did. Jermaine Johnson talking shit to him. <laughs> <laughs> he almost jumped, though. Shit. All right, prime time. The defense holds again. Yeah, now the offense will be starting inside the 10 again. So how many how many passing yards do we have right now? Negative how many? Negative nine, I believe. Neg oh. Let me check. Hold on. Yeah, negative nine passing yards. And how many rushing yards do we have? So we have how many yards, total yards do we have right now? It says we have 23 total yards. <laughs> <laughs> We're on with six minutes left in the second quarter. We have 23 yards. Bills have ran 32 plays, Jets have ran 12 plays. I mean, what are we doing here? Time of possession, 17 minutes to 646. I mean, there's just there's not a stat that looks good except the <sighs> The defense is playing the hearts out and just get, getting no support whatsoever. And we don't have any penalties yet. Oh, my God. Look what a ball. <laughs> oh, God. All right. It, it bounced a little. You know, we're not inside the five. So, if I'm net Hackett, I run the this ball three times. This is the drive right here, Tyson. I run the ball three this times and just punt it. Don't pass the ball because we can't. Run, 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 punt, and just get out of here. Like, don't even bother. This is the you, drive. This is the drive that ends the game, the pick six. No, no, the the O for was it forty eight now? Ends here, right here. Play action pass bomb yards. to Gibson. Ninety one yards, methodically. Methodically. Yep. Dude, if they get if they score points, it's gonna be on a bomb, like a bomb to Gibson. That's it. They're gonna take one deep shot. I'll count predict it. One deep shot, incomplete. Run the ball, gain of one. Third and third and nine. Four yard pass, punt. I see Zach like running out of the back of the end zone or some shit. <laughs> like a Lasky play. Yep. <laughs> no, Holding in the end zone. I mean, they're they're naturally a conservative offense. Can you imagine in this situation they're down points, they can't do anything? They're definitely run, run, run. But then like do it with like Cook and, and Brees in the backfield at the same time or something. Flea flicker time. I'm sure Sal is still gonna tell us the offense is close though. We're close, close to ending the season. To get shut out in the first half yet again. They can't even complete. They can't even complete the quick passes. They can't protect them, dude. Nope. Oh, I miss Adam Gase's scripted plays. At least, at least those fifteen plays were good. At least we got off to a lead. We had some <laughs> excitement early on. <laughs> just, uh, just endure the suffering. Mick Mitchell's getting – Von Miller's having a day against Mitchell, dude. Mitchell can't block anybody right now. He is awful. And they're not giving any help right whatsoever. Now. Brees Hall, four carries, negative one yard. Yes. Come get some. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, we're close. You no, know, he's requesting a trade by next offseason or by a trade deadline next year. Uh, we'll you, will next have, you will have a halftime report from our special guest analyst who is way into the tequila now at this point because he cannot take this team whatsoever. I'm yeah, they're not even – you haven't seen them do it. Like, Mitchell's on an island by himself, dude, and he's getting roasted. Everybody predict your first – the first down play call. What's everybody predicting? Randolph. Do they dare do a play-action pass? If they do, maybe it'll be like a check down to Conklin. Is he even a game? Probably not. We were thinking about doing hats, dude. What the hell? Who fell? Zach felt. Zach. Right. Oh my god! 
I give up. I give up. He fell <laughs> running on the field. I give up. I fucking I give up. <laughs> That's gotta be a holy shit. Yeah, yeah, I woke him up, dude. He banged we're his the head. Fucking replacements, dude. <laughs> we're the fucking replacements. He fell running on the field. He I don't think he was doing like a backward skip, like looking at like trying to get in the play or whatever. And he just fell. <laughs> we gotta see a replay of this. <sighs> I got we got I gotta go on Twitter now. I got to see this shit. What did he do? <laughs> just, just, oh. I, I can't. I can't. I can't anymore. We gotta see this again. <laughs> Somebody show it again. I wanna know what happened. Oh. I'm sure if you just type in Zach Wilson, you can find it on Twitter. Hold on, I'm checking now. <laughs> Who caught that pass? Uh record? Yep. Rucker crushed that guy. Oh my god. Someone's gonna post. There's gotta be a post somewhere him falling. Twitter's down. already lighting him up. Yeah. Tackled by a ghost. He was seeing tripped by a ghost. <laughs> oh my god. I don't understand. I, I caught I just saw him falling. I don't know what happened for that. I, I didn't know what they were like showing a replay of because I, I was just watching guys run out to the field. I'm like, like what are they showing here? <laughs> And you see Zach just eat it. <laughs> he just just falls down. But we we don't, we have, we have pass we have positive passing yards now though. That's true. Until our next sack. That could be the turning point. It changed our season. Zach falling down when you run on the field. All right, he's running for his life. Throw it. Oh my god, dude. Throw the ball away. Just throw it downfield. Oh man. my god, he's so bad. Like he, like Garrett, he wasn't even. Oh, he's trying to throw it to Zama, I guess. I don't know who he's throwing it to there. I have no idea who he was throwing to. And a flag. Garrett, Garrett stopped on the sideline. Oh jeez. But Uzama was behind it. But <laughs> Can we... Blaster. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta see this. That's gotta be a fucking it's gonna be over Twitter. It's gotta be. I'm waiting for it. Oh, here we go. He just falls. Wait, hold on. I was gonna show it to you. Hold on. <laughs> he starts doing like a backwards trial. Oh, like no. oh no. Oh no. Get him out of the game. That's it. He can go. He can go. He can go. He can go. That is it. That's the night for fucking Zach Wilson. He can get the fuck off the field. Take him out. Goodbye. Take him out. He can go. Your career as a Jet is over. You're out of the game. That is it. 100% get the fuck off this field. Done. That's it. No more. Seen enough. 100% done That's with him. Embarrassment. That's it. Game's you over want, and Zach you is done. Fall again? Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I've had it with this shit. That's it. He's done. He's done. That's it. He's done. Completely done. He's done. That's it. He, he shouldn't go back in the game. We're done. This is it. Halftime, you're out. Done. Goodbye. Adios. Two completions, three sacks, one interception. The offense is done. He is done. This team is a mess. Fuck this. The game is over. You know the touchdown's coming here. Yep. This is just garbage. Complete garbage. I don't care about your meetings. I don't care about anything else going on. This is over. The Zach Wilson no. experience is over with the Jets. No, they're close. They're not close. Yeah, they're, close to losing their, they're close to losing their entire fucking fan base is what they're close to. Enough, dude. Enough. Seriously, enough. This is fucking ridiculous now. I'd rather see Tim Boyle shit to bed than watch this garbage for the fucking two hours. Yep. It's pure it's fucking solid game's over. Move, though. Game is over. This game's over. That's it. Oh, my God. That's it's a wrap, boys. Gashed. Getting gashed. Jets football, come get some. Season over. Zach Wilson career as a Jet should be over. That is it. 
And Salah should be fucking on the hot seat more than ever now. I don't give a this fuck is, about the Aaron Rodgers bullshit. This is where you see the defense start to mail it in. Disgusting. What, do you, what, what, do you, what are you laying your body on the line for at this point when nothing. your offense can't even get a first down? No. You're down 9 nothing. game's over. You knew at 9 nothing. game's over they can't score a touchdown. Yep. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What it, fucking so over this bullshit, dude. So over this. Because it's just it. This, nothing's going to change. Nope. They're going to justify the loss. Well, you know, we ran out of humans, right? Backton went down. Yeah. Tony Adams went down. Salah will continue to say that it needs to be other guys around Zach that need to play better. It's not just him. Uh, the O-line was bad. We had some more drops again today. I'll tell you, dude, I'm not sold on this fucking coaching staff at all, dude. I don't care about Aaron Rodgers anymore. I really don't care. Well, Rodgers was the one guy that could cover up all their all their bullshit. Get him. It's going to be a fucking flag in the end zone now. Oh, my it's God. Awesome. This shit is over. It's over. It's just, this is disgusting. Look, look, he's lifeless, dude. He's like fucking Todd Bowles. He's sitting like he's a goddamn, he's a zombie over there. Do you see Salah? Yep. Oh, like fucking, Arms folded. You know, you know where Not Zach Wilson way. gets his fucking personality from? His head coach. They're both zombies. Jesus Christ. Salah is only a cheerleader when a team, when his defense does something. That's it. He ain't no CEO of a fucking team. He's a clown. This team sucks. Jesus Christ. I have no idea what Sauce was even doing there. No. They're not even competitive, dude. This game's not even competitive. This is embarrassing football. 166 to 18 total yards. This is disgraceful. Week in and week out, they've been disgraceful on offense. They're not a well-coached team. They don't have any discipline. They have no accountability. They have no leadership. They have a what do you, great what do you think is going to happen, though, on defense? When, when you know your offense cannot score, at, nope. at some point, you're going to start breaking down. We watched it last year. The same shit. Same shit, for real. It's not going to change, dude. And the thing is, like, literally, you're going to sell your soul for one year of Aaron Rodgers and pray you do something. And then if he doesn't do it, what happens? You have no you have no quarterback. You have nothing. And you have this coach still. And he's not the answer, dude. Well, if they don't win with Aaron Rodgers, we have a large enough sample size to suggest now that they're not going to win without Aaron Rodgers. He so shouldn't if they don't be manage given, to win with Rodgers. He'll be gone. They'll, he they'll shouldn't be, be given the chance to coach him this year, next year. He's not a good coach. Look at this. Game's over. That's it. That's a wrap. Who's who over. was supposed to be there? Mosley was just standing around, looking around. What there was nobody story. near him. This is a decision. Look at, look at Zach shaking his there head. There was he, nobody fall near down, him. Kid. How is he coming back in the game? I cannot believe they're putting him back on the field. You can't put him back out there. There's no way. This is a disgrace. There's dude, there's no reason to put him back out there. DJ Reed's yelling at something. Watch Mosley here. Dude, there's nobody there. Watch Mosley. Like he gets like caught up in somebody else's route. I guess Joe Brady they figured out stop. Joe Brady figured things out. I guess when you make when you make a change, your offense can change a little bit, huh? Crazy how that works, right? Yep. At least they weren't scared to make a fucking change. Game's over, folks. Halftime. Jets football, come get some. Who didn't honestly see this coming? This is bad, dude. This is players all meaning doesn't matter. Whatever little, little secret changes Salah made made no goddamn difference. Nothing. Well, two, well, two hours after your players-only meeting, you, you decide to hold somebody accountable who has a very minimal role on the offense. That's your only move. Yep. That's your big bag, uh, big bad accountability move. Let's cut Michael Carter. Terrible. Quarterback safe. Play caller safe. It's bullshit, man. Complete garbage right now. Absolute garbage. Self-inflicted wounds. Self-inflicted wound is your goddamn general manager and the decisions you made, your your personnel moves. I can't wait to hear Salah after the game try to justify this offense again. Nope, can't. No. Same recycled quotes. I'd I like to. I'd like to understand. 
how do you put the fucking quarterback back in the game? How do you put him back in? Because it's not just Zach. I'll keep saying the same thing. It's not just Zach. The blocking needs to be better. We need to catch the ball better. We need to run better. We need to run better routes. He'll keep blaming everybody but the quarterback. Unbelievable, dude. And it's been three years of the same fucking type of losing. Oh, my God. We're about to go 13 quarters without a fucking touchdown. I just, I can't, I just can't believe this shit. The season didn't have to be over after Rodgers went down. Nope. They should very easily have at least five, if not six wins right now. And they would be in this game if they had a quarterback. This, I mean, this, how do you put him back in the game right now? I don't know. I don't know. He literally, he's he made he's made Cause one throw. Because according to Salah, he gives them the best chance to win. So they have no chance then is what you're saying. Oh, my God. This is wild, dude. This is brutal, dude. This is going to be brutal. Mm -hmm. And what's going to make it worse is that you have the Giants coming off a win with fucking DeVito playing well. The Jets are going to be just destroyed tomorrow. Destroyed. Mm -hmm. Deservedly so. Yep. They got they to come it to them now. So 16 nothing. three minutes left. First half, Gibson, what the fuck is he doing? What is he doing? What is Gibson doing? He can't even get to the 20-yard line, dude. Starting on the 16. He's dancing around doing what? Run, motherfucker, run. <laughs> Just go straight. Get yards. God. I can't take it. I'm going to burst. I this is entering that, that McElroy. This, this is entering that territory of the McElroy game. It is getting there. Bro, I can't take anymore. I can't take it. I, I can't. I can't take another hour and a half of this. I just don't want to watch football anymore. They're gonna run the ball. Yeah, run, run, pass. Just survive until the half. They're not. They're There's gonna one. do. They're one gonna run down, second down. They're gonna hope the Bills take timeouts, which they're not going to because they don't have to. You literally watch great football all day long until the Jets come on, and then you make your life miserable. Look at those Hunt. drives. Four plays, five plays, three plays, two plays. He came through. Like, I just feel bad for Garrett Wilson, dude. I just feel bad for Garrett up. Wilson. Into double coverage. Double coverage. He has to make like Herculean catches. Like, like, look at this. It's just, there's no, he's going to take, take another hit, too. And now what the fucked up thing is, they're deep in their own end. They're deep in their own end. Now it's third yeah. and long. They're going to run the ball. The Bills are going to score again before halftime. They're going to score again. Absolutely. And they get the ball to start the second half, too. Third and nine. This is going to be like a four-yard pass. Watch. Yeah, a little dump off. Oh, and he gets fucking murdered. Jesus. Stay down, dude. Just call it a day. And and again, they just slide all over him. Nobody does a damn thing. Nope. Look at Sal. There's Sal. Look. He's Todd Bowles, dude. Mm -hmm. That's the Todd Bowles fucking No arms. answers. Uh, no fucking answers. Like, when, when Zach's coming off the field, the first thing Sal should be doing is running to him and talking to him. What happened here? What happened? Like, what do you like? He just stands and watch, watches him run by him. Hey. Here's my quarterback. I guarantee you they send him out for the second half, too. Nope. They can't. You can't. There's no way you can bring Zach out, dude. You can't. You cannot. If he does that, he should be fired. He should be fired after the game. Solid. It's just it's incompetence. Will, it's incompetence. You can't justify it anymore. How many passing yards is he? Oh, he had that one pass. So that was probably 20 yards. What, to Ruckert? Yeah. I'll check the numbers now. I'm sure they're not much different. 
We have 17 total plays for 26 total yards right now. Jesus Christ. We have 26 yards of offense going in the half? Yep, to the Bills 170. They've more than doubled our total plays. They're 3 of 7 on third down. We're 0 for 4. They've had the ball 19-28. We've had it 8-32. Had the ball 8 minutes and a half? Yep, 8-30. And the Bills are going to score again, too. Yep. They're going to have have great field position. Yep. Well, the the first thing they should have did was they should have took play calling away from Hackett. That's what they should have did. But we got to try something else. You try that. Take play calling away and see what happens. But now it's like all quite. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I'm probably out in the fucking in the world by myself. But I'm just like fucking Sal is not the coach, dude. He's not. He's not a good coach. They're they're I, not. I tend to agree with you, but again, like, what is actually going to change going into next year? Like, we already know that Rogers getting injured is going to be used as the excuse. He didn't have his quarterback. He's able to coach up the but defense. They, but, their quarterback but, but, away. They're going to talk themselves into believing that. But the problem isn't that. Rodgers going down doesn't say you mail in a 17-game season. Then it falls on how do you handle adversity. They handled it by doubling down with a shitty quarterback. And primetime, this isn't second-guessing. We said this shit in May. We said it in June. Zach cannot play this year. Get somebody else but, behind Rodgers. He shouldn't see the field. This is the is, result. But is that on Salah or does that become on Joe Douglas? Joe Douglas. And, who, and, then, and then who holds Joe Douglas accountable? Are, are, you, just, are you just cleaning house right now with Aaron Rodgers coming back next year? So, so you're going you're gonna to sell your entire soul, your entire soul for one year. And that one year has to be a Super Bowl because if he doesn't, then what? That's it. You're selling your soul for one that's year. That's pretty dude. much what it is. That's pretty much what it is for Look the one this. year, maybe two a, years that he plays. They did a fake punt, dude. Look at this No shit. way. They did Holy fake. shit. He's got, he got tripped up there. Oh! oh. <laughs> they did a fake punt. We're going to kick a field goal. Wow, we're going to get points. Does Thomas Morstead now have more passing yards than Zach Wilson? I think so. Morstead, Morstead should play quarterback for us. He steps out of bounds. Oh. Uh, he still has more yards, though. Where's he out of bounds at, though, dude? That's still a first down, though. It would have been a 44 yard return, though. Yeah. Fake punt. That's unbelievable. Let Morstad play quarterback, dude. It's a better throw than Zach's doing. Yeah, Tom Tupa, 2.0. He ran a good route. He's probably better than he's probably better than fucking Lazard. <laughs> better hands. He <laughs> better hands. Definitely better hands than Lazard. Yeah, Zach is two of seven, 32 yards. So we'll see where they spot this one, but Morstead might be ahead. Yeah, Morissette's definitely better passer than Zach. He's got better, better footwork. Better. Look at that touch. <laughs> He's got some quick release. Very catchable ball. He led the receiver. That's right. The receiver believed in him. So we, we may have found our quarterback and a receiver in the same play. All right. Maybe the Jets. Oh, this, I, I can't buy into this right now. I can't. All right, Zach Wilson back to pass. Is there any urgency? Looks like a little bit. Three yards. They're in the hurry up. Zach trying to save his season. (laughs) Second and six from the 46. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did they jump? No, they just didn't block anybody. Looked like they weren't ready when that ball got snapped. He's starting to get, like, happy feet, though, dude, because, like, like Brees Hall was, like, right there. All right. Put echoes in. (laughs) Not a bad idea. Appreciate the support. Appreciate all you guys watching, man. This shit's not easy because I'm already I'm I'm combustible as shit right now. Priest Hall is right there, dude. He's right there. Priest Hall is literally right in front of him. He started like shifting the other way. What was that about? They thought it was intentional grounding, I think. 
Third and six. All right. The fake punt was to inspire everybody. Can Zach string things together here? They are blitzing the living piss out of him right now. It's fake. Oh, they all dropped. Oh, boy. Who the? That's Carter Warren. I can't block. <laughs> oh, my God. He runs out of bounds. He, he, he ran, ran out. out short. He stopped two yards short. Oh, my God, he ran, dude. He ran out of bounds, oh dude. God. He ran dude. out of bounds. <laughs> it gives him what time. The fuck. He ran out of bounds short. At that point, just throw the, oh, they're going for it. Fourth and two. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> you better get the – if you don't get if you don't get the first down here, you're basically giving them a field goal. Mm-hmm. Just run for it. Do like a run pass option. They, they actually have the balls to go for it. If empty backfield here. Oh, my God. They're not actually going to go for this. Oh, shit. Oh, Three. shit, Got him. dude. There you go. There's miracles happening right now. There's a flag. Is there a flag? I thought I saw a flag. There was oh. definitely something yellow on the field. I don't, they didn't say anything about it. Well, they're in there field goal that, range now. There was definitely a flag on the field unless they picked it up. We may be approaching, like, what, 75 yards of offense right now? Oh, you're right. Right? Oh, Sounds offside. Up. All right. We're good. We're approaching, like, what, 75 yards of offense now? It's got to be there, right? I mean, half by our punter, but, yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> All right, prime time. We're in field goal range. Somehow they're going to screw this up. I'm just glad they're not giving up more points before they have. Well, it's still a minute and 10 left. Yep. It could be a 16-3 halftime score. And that'll justify Zach coming back on the second half. Yeah, some, yeah, I, I can't believe he, <laughs> he got bailed out by getting the next play. Mm -hmm. I wish they would take a shot downfield, but they don't. He's 3 of 9 for 47 yards right now. How many total yards do they have? Total yards? Yeah. They're at 40, no, 67. All right. 18 coming from Morstead. This is true, though. We were very close to seeing Boyle if they didn't do that fake punt. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we getting suckered back in and getting a field goal and maybe believing in something? I'm not. No, me neither. You were believing all week. I was. Well, it took me uh, well, how many? How much time? Game time, hour and twenty minutes. I'm done. No, it took you one play. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that's true. <laughs> Three nothing. I was kind of done with the game. <laughs> be, we knew nine nothing. The game was over. But I mean, this is no, not even before Buffalo even scored. Opening kickoff, you fumble it. That's it. It sets the tone for the whole game. You're not coming back from that. Did Lazard that's have a drop in this game? I don't think so. I don't think he's he? had a target yet this game. No, me neither. Right? All right. Now the drama is, will the Jets get to 100 yards of offense in the first half, and will they score points? Because they're at, what, like the 40 right now, I think, right? I think they were inside the 40. Where are they? Close to it. Let's see. 12.5. Yeah, 12.5 QB rating. Could be worse. I want to see more stat play quarterback, to be honest with you. I mean, the Jets, I mean, he with that play, he's going to be all over to social media all this week again, taking okay, bows. Everybody. They haven't said anything about Beckton yet. It looked like it was ankle. He went off on a cart, so I highly doubt he's coming back. He's definitely not coming back. 16 to 3, the comeback is on, but the Bills get the ball to start. That's right. The Jets must bench Zach Wilson for the second half. I'd give him credit for doing it. But now they're going to be like, but the, the, here's the problem. And that that Timmy said it right. If they don't do that fake punt, we're like, Zach can't start the second half. Now this little burst of whatever they're doing is Salah's like, you know yeah. what? The kid was bouncing back. We, we were feeling good about him. We had to bring him back in the second half. 
It's that false hope again. We're getting that close. Glimmer. That little glimmer. We're getting close. Yep. yep. We had some positive momentum. Yep. 100%. So sick of it. Yeah, the Bills secondary is bad, but I mean, yeah, Beckton's out with the ankle injury. And that sucks. That could be his career, dude, with the Jets. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he wants to come back here, to be honest with you. I think he wants to change the scenery, too. Depends. He was back in the good graces this year. I don't think he wants to come back here. He just wants to get the hell no. out of here. Oh man, well, I think he likes Rodgers. He, love, he loves Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but are, they, like are they gonna give him are they gonna give him like a three year deal? They probably give him like a one year deal, right? We'll take the most money. I mean, the Jets didn't pick up his option, so they could still tag him. I don't think they're you gonna do tag that. him. Fuck no. No. Nope. So yeah, if he can get a three or four year contract somewhere else, we'll you probably can. take that. And not even not even being like like a just a like a hater, but the guy's been injured three years. Yep. You know, he missed two years, came back this year, he's hurt again. We don't know how long he's going to be out for, but. He, even his rookie year, he missed a he couple back, of games. Yep. yep. So. Yeah, I think he won't be back. Yeah. He's not going to take, take a one-year prove it deal. He's like, screw that. I want to get, like, guaranteed money. Especially with the Jets. Yep. Oh, the ambulance on the field for Taylor Rapp? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I think Rodgers definitely coming back next year. Oh, definitely, yeah. Why Chris, I 1,000% disagree with you. I don't think Salah's a good coach. So, don't, I don't think he, Salah Great is, coach with Dan Luck? So, yeah, I'm like, I'd like to know what part of what part of Salah's game do you consider great? Where where has he inspired you? You got to look at his entire resume as a Jets head coach. What exactly has he done as a leader of the team? Not the defense, a leader of the team. Tell me exactly what, what you're proud of with Salah. Tell me. I'd love to hear it. I think he's a good yeah. defensive coach. I wouldn't he's a, say he's a good head coach. No, he's a, he's a great head, a great head coach. Do you forget yeah. how the team fell apart at the end of last year? How he mishandled a quarterback last year? He's got a great defense, and since he's been in the offense, is sucked, and the quarterback position sucked. Praising him, please. <sighs> Players sort of respect him. So yeah. he's a nice guy, dude. He's a good person. Okay. He's a very like he's a very good man. He wants he's to get not a paid. good head coach. Yeah, he's not a good head coach. Dude, let's not forget he just lost to Antonio Pierce. <laughs> like he lost yeah. to an interim head coach. He lost to Brendan Staley for Christ's sakes. Like look at the beat the Eagles though. Come on, there's a defense. I mean, this like it's just so bad, dude. This guy's moving his hands. That's good. Yeah. What, what is Robbie Anderson coming back going to help? We don't throw the ball vertically. That sucks, man. Um, his, his time manager has been impeccable. His time manager has been – has been. Ugh. He's I, mean, I guess they team. learned. I guess they learned from the the mishap with the Broncos at the first half, with what they did uh, against the Giants at the end of the Bro, game. A little bit of progress there. Time management. That that Giants game saved his career at the Jets. He loses that Giants game. He he he'd be on. The... All right, first and ten from the thirty-five. Let's get a touchdown. See, not even you're buying in now. Not Look at really. this drive. We have forty-nine yards in this drive. Don't oh my <laughs> what the fuck and, and there's gonna be a hole too watch late hit no I don't know come on give us a late hit oh it is we got another look at this we are back we got another roughing the pass just like two in Whoa. like two weeks we might get a touchdown we may get a touchdown what do we got 20 yards to go Oh, he crushed him, dude. Holy shit, did he crush him? Oh, god damn. That was like that's a, like that's like concussion kind of hit right there. Ooh. That was like a Roman Reigns spear at the end. Bro, he got crushed. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> 20 yards to go. Oh my god, we may score a touchdown. We'll never hear the end of it. I don't remember what this is like if we do. Nope, me neither. Look at this. 
Oh, oh. And we got all three timeouts left. Oh, my God. We're, we're going to score too early, and then they're going to get it right back. Why is the clock stop? They call timeout? Why is the clock stopped? Why, why would they call timeout? But why is the clock stopped? I don't know. Why not? Buffalo called timeout. Uh, all right. Izzy is not playing Inside the today. 10. We're in the gold zone. Just Do they keep, throw the ball into the actual end zone? Keep Uzama out of there. I haven't seen Uzama yet today. No. Right? No, he was on the one play where they, there was no blocking. He was on that one, I think. <laughs> oh, that one? Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure I saw like an 87 lane on the ground. Oh, yeah, All right, prime just, time. First and goal. Came out, actually, he just came out, which is good. Can the Jets shed the weight of the world and score a touchdown? The first red zone play with a minute left in the second quarter. <laughs> I'm going to mute you. You can mute me. I don't I'm care. I am. Chance for a touchdown. Lazard drop. He drops it. Well, there's your there's your weekly Lazard drop. That was his only target of the game so far. Right in his fucking hands. He is so fucking bad. He is so bad, dude. It's just he, he can't so catch the ball. Oh, come on. It's a weekly drop with him, man. It's like a hot potato for him. God damn. Of course, they choose to go to him in the red zone. We have no deal. choice. Go, go, go. Check down. Hall. Oh. We're man. miracles. <laughs> we scored no flag. We miracle. Holy shit. What is this thing we've just scored? Oh, my God. They finally did it. That just bought Zach another three weeks. Yep. <laughs> Are they going for two now? Yeah, of course, man. Oh, yeah, push their luck. I can't believe we scored a touchdown. This I'm is shocked. amazing. I'm shocked. Look to Dalvin Cook. Look to Dalvin Cook. Look to Dalvin Cook. Look to Dalvin Cook. What is he doing? What is he doing? He is Bro, so like, stupid. Fucking, look he at is. Dalvin Cook off to the side. Does he even know he's there? Bro, There's look somebody, at Dalvin. Oh. There was somebody in front of Cook. Come on, dude. It's better than what Zach did. Forty-five seconds left. Guarantee you Bills get a field goal. Yep, Zach's playing the rest of this game now. We got another yep. half of this shit. Yep. Oh. Ten point game. We're back. We are back. We're back. We are back. Oh. The score prediction's alive and well. You said thirty six to six. <laughs> kind of right on pace. Well, thirty. We're a six. second half team. See? Yeah. Dalton was covered. All right. Dalton was covered. Then I don't know. I mean, he would have at least had a chance to make a play. <laughs> I think they took they took Uzama out of the game just to make sure they didn't do that. Well, that was spearheaded by the fake punt, so. Yeah. Touchdown with assistance. 16 to 6, just like we all predicted. Yeah. If I guarantee anything, we... the Bills are getting points here. If anything, there should be a quarterback controversy. Uh, is that who's better, Morstad or Zach? It's a legitimate question. The season is back. <laughs> Are these really his numbers? Well, no, this isn't right, is it? Five of 12, 67 yards? I think so. <laughs> I got for that last drive. Yes, those are his numbers. My God. How many timeouts they have left? They only have one timeout left. One. All right. They're not really hurrying, right? Oh, yeah, they are. 
This is second and three. That's the first oh, down. Still a lot of time. It's still got 20 seconds left here. I know. All it needs is like a 20-yard pass. Oh, man. All right. First yeah, and 10. Five yards away. The Jets call timeout? What? <laughs> as fast as that first quarter went, this friggin' second quarter is just. So Zach went from being very bad to just awful. All right. It's progress. I agree about Kincaid. That's the guy they're looking for. Yep. How to make teriyaki chicken? What are we doing? <laughs> what? No prevent. Uh, they got twenty seconds. They got one time. Why the Jets call timeout? Get their defense straight. I don't know. Are they blitzing? No way. Faking they brought it. a lot. They brought a lot here. There's a flag. It did bring a few. It's gonna be holding flag. Again. No. Now I'm saying it's on the Jets. Off sides. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. Self-inflicted moon right there. Yep. They were blitzing. They brought like five there. 16 seconds left. Uh, they're getting there. Just a little bit short. The, what, 41-yard line? Yeah. It's a lot of time, man. A couple 10-yard passes. You can be right where they... Exactly. They only have one timeout, though. It's like an eight yard. Yards. It was like an eight second play there. Did they give him the first down on that? I think he was down like a yard short. You figure that at one point they got to throw the ball vertically. They got to like, they got to take a shot here, right? They got to stretch the field That's a little. Probably bit. coming right here. Yeah, Twelve seconds. Yeah, they didn't give him the first down. It's second and one. That last play was a waste for them, dude. That was like, yeah, you wasted eight seconds. Well, they still only need one 15 yard pass and you're in field goal range. Yeah. I'd blitz this get a little closer. Get him. All right. Nice pressure off the edge. No flag. Thank God. Phew. I saw Allen down. I'm like, shit. Who was off the edge? Was that Will McDonald? Look at, oh, he went low. Oh, I was like, oof. And he got held a little bit. Will McDonald's showing something right there. Draft class stepping up. This has been a very wild and wacky first half, my friend. Yeah. The last touchdown by Brees made things a lot more tolerable. All right, so you got seven seconds. Time up the Jets. Yep. Time. I mean, I I would assume you're playing the boundaries here, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, because they got seven seconds isn't a lot. This is where Romo's so good, man. He like he breaks shit down like just to a second. I I'd, I'd, I'd attack somebody here, dude. I'd send somebody. I'd definitely blitz somebody here. Don't let Josh Allen just sit there and be comfortable. Yeah, but if he actually sits in the pocket, then the game's over after the play. That's true too. That's true too. He saw Romo saying he thinks it's a Hail Mary here. They're not even going for like the field goal anymore. They could. I mean, is seven seconds enough time to get a 15 yard completion and a timeout? 
What in the fuck is that? What was that? To get the first I have down? no idea. What was that? That's th- what. That's stupid. That was very strange. Unless they thought maybe they'd get a few extra yards and then do the Hail Mary. I don't know. Dude, you don't have that much time left. Like That's just a weird. I don't know. If you're the Jets, why not let them run another 20 yards? That and play was them? stupid, dude. I don't know. I'd rather a friggin' a quick three yard, like a you know three step drop, rip it, get like eight yards, and try something else. That's stupid as shit. All right, well now they're going hell mary. So this is Ashton Davis time right here, but he this is where he gets yep. all his interceptions. Don't put Alan Lazard back there. You know he can't catch anything. That play call was stupid. They should have Conklin on. Another timeout. Jesus. <laughs> but you know the rule, dude, right? You don't want to carry anything in the halftime. You take them all. Get rid of all of them. Second quarter, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Second, second quarter has been an eternity. Other games are like midway through the third already. We're just blessed. Don't you feel blessed right now? No, I don't. <laughs> You're getting bonus time of this quality jet football game. Dude, it's 6-11 already. Look at look at look at Javid. <laughs> it's right. Conklin did block out Garrett Wilson. Last right? That's why you should be in on here. Oh, bro, we just got offside. I'll start. Here we go. Uh, uh, put Garrett back out there. He needs a catch. <laughs> uh, um, if only this game could last forever. <laughs> Feels like it's going to. <laughs> Shit. Sack him. Get him. Oh, no. He's going to throw it. Hey. Just go down, dude. I, I called it, oh, dude. Run it back. No way. He ran into the he ran into the fucking. Damn it. He's probably, that the, probably amongst the team leaders in interceptions. <laughs> probably right. All right, prime time. We finally made it to halftime. It is almost 6.15. Mercy. I got pissed. All right, have fun. And then we'll do a scoreboard. Break yeah, down. We'll do a scoreboard, do all the scores. Oh, my God. This is brutal. So, we got here. We got to hide that, change the score. Oh, my God. What a half of football this was. Anybody have any level of confidence or come back and win this game? There he is for our <laughs> – listen, man, he's been preparing. He was a little bored, but uh, got to go get pizza. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're undefeated when Bree scores. There's that. Elmo, you still have some hope? We're winning this? We're coming back. Look at all the positivity. Yeah, man. We got to give him his time. <laughs> That's right, man. I got to get credit for that. <laughs> and he has the headband. He won't take the headband off. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course he does, man. He doesn't want to carry in the, into halftime, too. He's got to make sure, you know. <laughs> it was a long half. They won't they won't now because of that last drive. That's the crazy thing. I think you ask me this every week, right? Of course. I don't like them live though, I'll tell you that much. They're just it's not they sound great, but it's just it's funny. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> yeah, he's trying to get his banned from YouTube. I know. It's not it's not good. Prime time will be back shortly. <laughs> Is uh, we gotta do the uh, let's see, we got here. So, what's your score prediction? What's your final score predictions at for this game? I'm, I'm getting roasted for my tweets here. My goodness. Um, I don't know, man. You're still in it. You're only down 10 points. 
26 to 6, 26 16. 38 to 6. We need the Salah interview. Make it a Gates <laughs> interview. Random man is impressed that Legend has a Jets shirt. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. That's right, man. Look, see, I take care of my, my good friend. I, I think the problem is the headband, though. <laughs> yep. Did you take it off on? Do you think the headband's a problem? Well, Zach took it off. He's living in the past. No, Tool, it's not a normal live show. The laser light show was incredible. They sounded great, but he never talks to the crowd. It's like you're basically like at a jam session, which is – it's cool. Like, I'm glad I saw them once, but I, and the money – they're not they're not cheap tickets, but I probably wouldn't go back. 196 bills, 1916. A lot of positivity here, primetime. First drive will tell no, us. No, no, no. Jets and Leafs, we scored a touchdown, dude. We went for two. We actually scored a touchdown, believe it or not. All because of a fake punt. All right, prime time. Give us some. How many penalties do we have in the first half? All right, let's go through the box score. Yeah, Maynard. That's his name. That's right. Yep. He doesn't talk. All right. 25 total plays. Okay. 87 yards. 87 total wanna, yards? Yes. I want to say about 60 plus were on that last drive. Yeah, that, at least. It has to be at least. Probably, yeah, at least 60 yards. Four penalties, 20 yards. That's not bad. It's an improvement. Two turnovers. Get the Turned fumble. Twice. Yep. How Time many of sacks? Possession. Time of possession. 20 to 947. How many sacks did Jets give up? Um, Three. It's not that. I mean, Glazer hasn't been good. No. Mitchell hasn't been good. Glazer hasn't been good. Lazard still sucks. Yep. I mean, there's like who is who's catching all the passes? It's basically Brees, right? Because who else has it's, Rucker had the one catch? Well, they don't have a lot of completions. They have what six completions? <laughs> Five of twelve. Brees Brees has four of them. Uh, Wait, hold on. Many... It, it says five of twelve, but Brees has four. Rucker has one. Oh, Eccles has one. So I guess that goes to special teams. Oh no, Worcester. Yeah, duh. So they're technically six of thirteen total. How many sacks do we have? One. That's it, right? Yeah. How's Quinnen, I think, right? Yeah. Zach is our leading rusher. All right. Brees Hall, five carries for no yards. What is what is the comparison for Alan Lazard in terms of being a bust as a receiver? I'm trying to think of who it is. He's like a Derek Mason, maybe? Oh, we paid him more, though. No, but Mason was on a one-year deal. He's making more money than that. Who's a big Who's a big high-priced receiver? Quincy, uh, and I like Quincy and Nunwood, but Quincy and Nunwood was always hurt. Yeah, his was more injury related. Who's the comparison for Alan Lazard? Is a guy that made is making good money that just sucked. Justin McCarron. Oh, I was just thinking Justin McCarron. That's exactly who it is. He was a trade though, right? Second round pick yep. they gave up. Yep. But McCarron's got decent one. money. And he was terrible. Yep. I think I, you know what's sad. I think McCarron is actually better than fucking Alan Lazard. That's the sad thing. Mm. McCarron at least got touchdowns and stuff. Did he at least made some plays? Yeah, I guess. Matthew Hatchett wasn't making a lot of money. He was like a one-year. That was a cheap one. Curtis Hatchett. Conway's another good one. Braylon Edwards was better than him. It reminds Braylon me a lot good. of uh, Stephen Hill. <laughs> we, we, killer Cup. That's a great Bills team. We had a great week of practice. We had just have too many self-inflicted wounds. Guaranteed we are going to hear all of those oh. in post-game pressure. Guaranteed. I'm trying to think. I, I think McCarron's is probably the closest – like, I, I think, think he, he was... plays just like Stephen Hill, though. Yeah, yeah, he does. Definitely, definitely the same kind of money, though. Yeah, Tremaine on offense, I like that. Corey Davis, it's similar. That is similar. That's Corey not... Davis. I feel like had more splash plays his first year, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Self inflicted loss. We we release car for making one mistake. We keep Zach at the three shit years. Eric Decker was better, dude. Eric Decker had a, had a huge year. Eric Decker was much better. Yeah, Eric Decker was he was solid, dude. Corey Davis is probably that's probably another that's probably a fair one. I think Corey Davis is probably better than Lazar too, though. No, definitely. The first year he had some big plays. Yeah. All right. So what what other stats do we have for us? All bad. It's nothing good. I 
Garrett Wilson, three targets, no yards. Oh. Dalton Kincaid, six catches already. I mean, does Diggs have? Diggs, Diggs only has one catch for four yards yeah, on five it's... targets, so doing a good job on him. Well, how many passing yards does Josh Allen have right now? Buck 28. Yeah, he's not putting up big numbers. They don't have to. Though, they're, run they're running, though. How many rushing yards do they have? Um... Cook has 50. Josh Allen has 15. Yeah. Well, you figure right now, I'm going to break out my Salah hat. Really, it should only be, I mean, really, it should only be 13 to 6. We, gift, we gifted him three points with the Gibson fumble. You want to say that? I'll say that. <laughs> I think I've mastered my the Salah. Interception, shoot. too, though. That's the yeah, interception was terrible. That fake punt saved this game right now. That fake punt kept this team in the game. That's uh Yeah, the interception was actually their touchdown drive, 23 yep. yards. Yep. So yeah, they have injuries in secondary. We we also got Tony Adams out, Beckton's out. I think I need more. My my I get more. This. You gotta enter dang prime time. I got another drink. I got it. I'm down, I'm down to like I got a lot of I got a pile of empties over here. <laughs> I'm getting there. Smell Go around the league on the scoreboard. Here. Since we had a lot of one o'clock games, Browns, of course, go to seven and three without their quarterback either. Do y'all see us realistically coming back? You know my answer. My answer is definitely not. I thought they were going to get blown out from the start, so I'm actually surprised it's this close at the half. Should have been sixteen nothing. Not giving Sal credit for the brilliant fake punt call. I'll give him credit for it. I mean, your team is still down ten points. Your offense doesn't really have a just pulse. Comes. <laughs> Show me a Jets tickets. I, I've seen like three of those today. Hey, did you get your Jets tickets? For what? For the rest of the season. No. Don't miss all the exciting action. Yeah. Sitting next to all the opposing fans. That's always a good time. It's complete torture. Trevor, we need you. I want to have... see. I want to. Uh, oh, Michelle just yeah. sent it to me. The friggin' uh. Zach Wilson taking the field. I want to find this clip so bad him falling down. Oh, here, I'll send it to you. <laughs> oh, you, you got it. <laughs> Dude, he fucking busts his ass. What it just what are we doing here? <laughs> this is just like a movie. He's on the NFL memes uh memes page now. Oh my god, is he? Yeah. Oh my god. This is hysterical. It reminds me of like a scene in Rush Hour where you just see Chris Tucker just shaking his head, like, come on, man. Like, what are you doing? This is funny as shit, dude. No way. It's not what the you said NFL memes, you said? Yeah. I gotta do this real quick. I apologize this. I just gotta see this. This is just funny as shit, dude. Caption just says Zach Wilson can't do anything right. Oh. This is funny as hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you don't laugh, you cry. Oh. <laughs> you found it? <laughs> it's funny shit. Oh my god. This is a terrible Nobody dude. near him just eats it. <laughs> just I can't even deal with this shit right now. Oh my god. At that point, if you're solid, if you see that, you just gotta be like, all right, go sit. Yeah, you have to be like, this is just <laughs> oh my god. Oh right. Well <laughs> Zach is getting crushed. They say the saddest people at the party is the clown. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is this true? Tony Adams had a bone sticking out of his glove? Oh no, you didn't see the close up, his finger was like bent. Oh no, I wasn't. Yeah, his pinky oh. looked like it was bent. I couldn't tell if the bone was sticking out, but it didn't look pretty, whatever it was. <laughs> what is this? Say? Oh, yeah, it's all over. Dove Climbing's on it. Everybody's on it now. That's yep. Zach falling down. God help us, man. Oh, it's so bad. It might be worse uh, than the butt fumble. <laughs> Just... <sighs> Especially when they when they if they lose the game, it's gonna just be like this. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It's going to be everywhere all week. Yep. Never, never. That's going to be his defining moment. Sam Donald has a seeing ghost. That's going to be that's going to be Zach Wilson's defining moment. Yep. Jesus Christ, God help us, dude. All right. So the comeback is on. You ready for this? No. At least we're on defense first. Maybe we get a three and out, some good field position. So know. how does everybody how does everybody evaluate Legends halftime analysis? We he can make he gets paid a pretty penny now because like Tyrone's been busy with stuff, so we gave a lot of his salary to Legend because you know. We take care of everybody. I thought he was on point. Different perspective. Butt stumble. <laughs> so let us know what you think about Legend. If we should keep him on the staff or we should fire him. Hey, at least we're two for two on fourth down. Dude, it's 6.30. We're just starting the third quarter. I know. Game's going to be over like 8.30. <laughs> Legend's a better play. Why does it look so dark there? I don't know. Legend needs to take the hat, Zach Wilson headband off. It's pissing me off. Yeah. All right. Needs to should, go. All right. They're saying we should keep him prime time. We should keep him, not the headband, though. <laughs> all right. The headband's coming off. He fought me about it last week. <laughs> Retain that top talent. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets fired first, Sala or Legend? I think Sala. Sala. <laughs> Legend's face is Sala's sideline face. <laughs> <laughs> He's better than Romo. Oh. <laughs> Too bad his arms weren't long enough where you could just fold him. Legend's better than Tyrone and Zach Wilson. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Legend's person, better than Zach. All right. Back to the game. Legend's got to go. Nice play there. Quincy. They're ready to play, man. The comeback is on. Defense looks ready. Can you imagine we win this game? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> just... Quincy, that's his first big play of the game. Yep. This Solid is when Thomas blew that one up too. This is when this is when our defense really steps up. It's all right, coordinated prime. celebrations. What's what's that's all about? Second and thirteen. Sure Solid was doing it in the background somewhere. I'm sure. Oh shit, bro! I thought Eccles had a pick six. He should have. Oh my God! Why would this fuck? Oh, what is he again? doing? And now it's a full, Come fight, on. full blown fight. Oh Jesus! What is Sauce doing, dude? I don't know. I thought <sighs> X had a fucking pick six. Looked like he saw it like a split second too late. No, what's Sauce is doing? Why would he do this? I don't know. Oh, Eckle should have had that. Try to suplex him. Like, why would he do that? I don't know. I just don't understand what the hell he's doing. Don't know. There's, look, there's, look at Sal. Look at Sal. Blank stare. Yep. All right. That's a dumb play by Sauce, man. He's the midfield already. Oh, shit. My God. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Sure Damn. Just, whoop. My God. And Quincy was in on that. Both nailed him. It's like a double team hit. Sherwood just like boom. Oh, they dude, they how's that? That dude's got to be out, man. <laughs> He's got to have a concussion from that. Sandwiched dude. him. My God. Sherwood looks like the, the guy's off, off sides. Almost. All right. Sec oh, for Christ's sakes. Uh, and Quincy misses that tackle. Miss and Mosley late. Oh. Uh, Oh. Right there. There's a little too cutback. Many too many arm tackles today. Dude, they just had back to back like big power hits, and then they just they overpursued that one. Yep. 
Oh. First down. All those big plays that the Bills were in the 37 yard line, 38 yard mm -hmm. line. Kill, kill me. <laughs> And it's like you see like Jordan White and those guys were all creeping in, but it's like they're not – they're still getting three, four yards That's a weird carry. defense they were in right there. Yeah. That's so stupid by Sauce, dude. Why did he do that shit? Would have been third down and what, like four? And, and Rome was like he's frustrated. He's basically shut down Stephon Diggs. What is he so frustrated about, right? Like what is he mad about? I don't know. The defense has been legit. All right, so coming out of the half, the Bills are marching right down the field. Nice play. Holy, that Will McDonald? Holy wow. shit, yep. dude. Wow. Damn. Yeah, Carl Lawson's done. You'll never <laughs> see the field the rest of the year. Unless somebody gets hurt. Bro, that was a he Damn, shot. Play. That's a great play by Will. That's like his second great play this game. Yep. Third and, Third and 12. All right. From the, what? 39 yard line? Yep. Tackle him. Tackle him. Oh, who missed him there? Tackle him. Tackle him. All right. Amos. Amos missed him. They might go for this again. Yeah. It's like, what? Fourth and three? Fourth and two? Yeah. Shit. They're not even thinking about it, dude. Like, we're going. Fourth and one? Long Fuck. one. One and a half. Be nice to get a stop here, dude. All right. Stacking the box. Watch Josh Allen run it. Yep. Come on. He stepped out of bounds, didn't he? Didn't he step out of bounds? He might not have. He didn't step out of oh, Ty Johnson. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you expect it any other way, dude? I thought he stepped out of bounds. He didn't step out of bounds? He was tight roping. I don't know. He went untouched. I know that. Look at this. Where is – who is that right there? Amos? No, it's fucking Jordan Whitehead. That was terrible. I don't think he stepped out. Oh. Nope. Oh. Unbelievable. Well, that's it. He missed it. Missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This game is just. So we're still only down two possessions. Yep. What a shitty effort that was by Whitehead. Oh. Ty Johnson. He went untouched, right? It was like 20-something yards untouched? Yeah, it was more than 20 yards, I think. How many yards was that? 28. No way. Was it really? 28 yards. Untouched. I'm fourth and one. Great. Well. Unbelievable. You can't win a game without scoring points, my friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, yeah, of course, Ty Johnson of all people. I know. Uh, I'm sure Sal is going to have no problem talking about the defense. More, more stat yeah. will save us. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy because the defense was hitting so hard. Yeah. Then you, you had that Quincy Williams. He missed it. That little. What is All it? started it was... by the sauce penalty. Yep. It's true. Yeah. Sauce is responsible. That's true. That was a huge penalty, man. There's no reason to be acting like that. Nope. We're down six field goals, man. I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not hating the defense, dude. No, you can't. It's like they're, they're basically the Jets' offense was inept to the last fucking till the fake punt late in the second quarter. Your defense and special teams handed them ten points already. Yep. For your your offense and special teams. That's it. I'm turning off the game. Come on, man. You got. I can't leave us. We're all in this together, man. We got to fall apart together. 
Anybody that's had enough, I don't blame them. You know you're not scoring any more points. You don't tell him to leave us. <laughs> he wants to enjoy the rest of his night and not be stressed out. Let him be. Come on, man. <laughs> it's only the third quarter. How much longer, much, much more of this game we still have to watch? Exactly. That's the problem. The Jets are embarrassing another quarterback this game. Zach, by letting him stay out there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, now it's. Well, they, they got a touchdown, so that buys him another, you know, how many games? Well, Josh Allen hasn't. Well, Josh Allen's got, what, two touchdown passes now? Because it was. uh. Yep. Right. Both to the running back, though, right? Because that was Ty Johnson. Who's the first one? The first one was Cook? No. He... Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Cook. Two possession game. Prime time, even with Rogers next year, I wouldn't renew season tickets. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I just probably should be questioning it, but I just question the, the leadership of this team. Here he comes. At least he didn't trip this time. Shocking. <laughs> I just want that. I want that file so I can put it on my Instagram. That's all I want. That's my wife. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have to think one more interception, he's done, right? Or no? I mean, no. Let him play the rest of the game. Let's go look down of complete flames. <sighs> there we go. Misdirection here. A little run. Two yards. One yard. Is somebody going to tell the Jets are down 16 right now? We're going to give like a little news flash to Salah? No. Oh, takes some time. No rush. But they had that one play with, with Brees and Dalvin Cook in the backfield at the same time. It worked pretty good. Why not go back to that? Or is that just like their one their one change for the week to say that they actually made a change? Yeah. To prove they actually like they made adjustments. Keeping it in the bag for next week, Miami. Carter Warren is doing okay. He's doing all right. They're giving him help though, aren't they? Max Mitchell's done horrendous. Throw it, Zach. Throw it. Throw it. Don't run out of bounds for a loss. Fuck. Bro, yeah. how many times does he run out of bounds for a loss? Throw the fucking football away. Was that Salah that took him down at the end? <laughs> Yo, I think Salah took him out at the end. Salah Sal 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 slams him down. <laughs> Dude, tackle of the year. That's, that's the hardest hit of the game is Salah hitting his quarterback. That's Holy Jets football shit. right there, dude. That's Jets football. I want that. I want that. I want Salah tackling his quarterback. <laughs> he was trying to get him injured. He was trying to take him out. He's like, fuck, I have no other choice. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck throw is that? Did he catch that? <laughs> Who knows? There's a flag. I thought that ball was going over his head. It's like Lazard catches the, the difficult ones. Can't catch the easy ones. Yeah, we might get pass interference here. I still I want the picture of Salah tackling Zach. That's what I want. Pass interference first down. Oh. <laughs> so, so far this so far this game, Zach has been tackled by a ghost and he's been tackled by his own head coach. <laughs> We've got it's two. Just, it's just a Conklin just trucked the fucking safety. This game is a mess, dude. This is just a mess. Oh my god, Jesus but Christ! What else can happen now? There's nothing else. We've done it all in this game. All right, first and ten. Breeze getting some yards. Running behind Carter Warren, no less. Why are we trying to establish the run down by 16 points? I'm over Rogers Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there, David. You got me scared for a second there. <laughs> got to go down with the ship with us. We're all going in this together. <laughs> it just made my day. I mean, this game is going to be all the memes coming out of this game are just going to be endless. Oh. Second and three. Some of the Jets are moving the ball here. No, no. idea how. Nice fake. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Oh, and what did he do with the end? He's like, like a cat. He's like, fuck this pass. Oh my god. They hit him right. Oh boy. Did they have gained anything on that anyway? No. Probably the loss yards. All right, third and three. <laughs> this game is just some bullshit. Oh my god. I just don't have the energy for this shit anymore. Third and three. Get the snap off. All right. Got that. What is he doing? Where Where is he going? I don't know. Was that a designed run? I'm wondering if that was a designed run or not. Was that? Oh, my God. Because it looked like he knew right away to go with it. He ran pretty much. He stopped. Yeah, that's design run, dude. He tucked it pretty quick. Yeah, the alignment are already out in front. All right. Third and three. Can't get it. Fourth and three. So the play of that drive was solid tackling his quarterback. Nice punt. Don't hit him. Oh, Uzama, you clown. Oh, my God. Did, Jeez. did he get another one? He's lucky. The minute, the minute they do that and they go like this, you always wonder because then it's like the, it's almost like a mission of guilt. You know, I know. what I mean? Uh, God help the season ticket holder. You're talking to one right there. Don't know why. <laughs> They weren't Don't going for it on fourth and three there, dude. They're not not down 16. They're not. All gas, no break. That's right. <sighs> We're delusional. So gross. <laughs> what are we delusional yeah. about? <laughs> do they do they do not know the Jets now by 16? It's only a two score game. That's the way you look at it. No, establish the run. That's right. Two possessions away. Take your time. This is a good game to try that edible. We're not acting like there's hope, dude. I called the season over fucking an hour ago. <laughs> Where have you been? No, nah, to be fair, we said the game was over with the, with the kickoff fumble. We could have said the game was over. I said it was over Tuesday night. <laughs> Shit. It just, yeah. We're just here for the jokes at this point. There's nothing else we can really do. Baseball season yet? Hmm. Terrible. <laughs> pizza Hut or Domino's for post game? Come on, Daniel. Go to the local pizzeria. Get better pizza than that. Oh, what are we watching? Players only meeting time. Oh my god. I want that. Somebody, if that is that tweet out anywhere yet? Sala Slam and Zach. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> we just we can't look. hold on. There's got to be. This game is going to be all about the memes. Zach tripping yeah. and salt. <laughs> is it? Yep. Which one? Who's has it now? Uh, The 33rd team. Oh, my God. That Twitter account has it. They're, they're trying to give Coach Salah props. Like, oh, he was trying to protect Slammed his quarterback. He's so probably took, about. He took his anger out. I'm like, these fucking quarterbacks <laughs> killing me right now. Like, you're uh, the reason I'm about to get fucking fired. <laughs> Schefter has it. <laughs> oh my god! This is this is we, we're, we're laughing stock, dude. He literally like choke slams him at the end. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man! All right, so twenty-two to six. You had the Bills pin deep. Maybe get a three and out. And uh, I don't know. Stafford may be hurt, so both starting quarterbacks could be out. And Rams were Seahawks. Wow. <laughs> Would you prefer Curtis Painter over Zach Wilson? Curtis Painter all day. I prefer a painter over Zach Wilson. <laughs> Brad the painter. I prefer sniffing paint. <laughs> <laughs> just oh. you can give me. I can give you a long list of things I'd rather do than have watched Zach Wilson play football. Oh my god! Oh shit! Sauce got dusted. Oh no! Did he stop running too? 
Oh no! Look he at this. Completely stopped. Why did Sauce quit on a play? That's Sauce, Sauce quit on that play, dude. He completely stopped running. He was jogging for like 15 yards, and then when he realized he had a chance to make a tackle, he wiped out the other guy that had a chance to make a tackle. Dude, Sauce literally stopped. He stopped. He quit, he quit on the play. Yep. What do you expect, though? Bro, like, what? What do you expect? Wait, he give, dude. What What do you expect? Watch this again. Dude, he quit on the play. He goes for it, and then right here, he's just jogging. He got beat. So you get beat, and then you just quit on the play. That's it? That's how this works? Come on, Sauce. Not shocked at all. Bro, he literally stopped. What? My score prediction, just, just for the record, my score predictions this year have been almost like dead on the money. I don't ever see any of them. What do you mean? I don't see any score predictions. I said before the game, 38 to 6. Oh. 20, it's 29 to 6 right now? Yeah. Uh, the Cowboy game, I think I said 27 13. It ended up being 30 to 10. Sauce guy. I don't understand. Later, Javid. Have a good night, man. I, I understand, like, the minute he got beat on the play, like, he stopped running. Like, you should be like, just tackle him. Get him down. Like, who cares? Business decisions, Tyson. Told you it was going to happen today. Defense is sick of it. They know the uh, game's over already. Down by 16 he's, points. He's supposed to be a leader, though, dude. He had the terrible penalty, what, the last drive, and now this one. Yep. He got, bro, he got smoked on that one. Well, so now, so now, can we get a quarterback change? Nope. Game's over. Can we at least see if we have something else? Defense has had enough. I mean, this is just. I'm surprised by Sauce, man. Me too. Definitely surprised. I'm surprised, but I'm not though. He's supposed to be a leader, dude. He's supposed to be like part of the solution. Him, Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall. You gotta be. You got the. You you have like a standard. You're, you know, you're all pro corner, dude. You don't do shit like that. You know I mean, you don't don't be. You know, he, he said himself, "You want to be part of the solution, not the problem." That's that's what his words, dude. Guys only uh, hold up so long on defense when they get no help. It still doesn't. I, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't like that kind of shit at all. Season is cooked for sure. Yep. They're tired and frustrated. Well, he didn't get beat by Diggs. He got beat by Shakir now. So it's two drives in a row on him. The penalty and then and then that. His tackling's been bad, dude. It's 100 percent been bad. We he's made some some questionable decisions with that shit. That's been all year, too. The one tackle he did make was a 15 15 yard penalty for no yep. reason. So I mean, terrible. Sal's going to say we ran out of humans, self inflicted wounds. There's no way Aaron Rodgers is coming back. No way. There would have to be at minimum 500 for that to happen. Yeah, he's not coming back. You're not beating the Dolphins next week. So that puts you at four and seven. Not good luck with that, that Black Friday game with 40,000 Dolphin fans there. That should be a good time. Yeah. I just, just wild. That's so I can't believe Sauce does that. You just think better of him than this. Yep. Sauce is like, I mean, like right there, right, right when when Jordan yeah, Whitehead turned, you can't see it, but that's where he quit. When Jordan Whitehead turned it back in, Sauce should already be there to make the tackle, but he was jogging. Yep. He gave up on the play. Yep. That's There's a where, terrible effort too at the end. Look at him. He's yelling at him. Look at Quinn Williams yelling at him because he quit on the fucking play, dude. Right? He did. If he if he didn't quit on it, he would have tackled him 10 yards downfield. Yep. And fucking handoff. This is embarrassing. Take him out of the fucking game if you're not going to let him throw the goddamn ball. You're down fucking You're down by 23 points. points. Fucking oh. ridiculous. Eight carries, nine yards for Brees. Hmm. Wonder why you can't run the goddamn ball. 
333 to 96 yards. What an embarrassment. This is just disgusting. There you go. Now you I mean, got to fucking just... move. Like, go no huddle here. Something. Hurry up. Conklin, one catch, 13 yards. Here we go. Nice. Where the hell's Brees going? He's going backwards. I mean, can we go Hold vertical, for, dude? And this is and no, yours. and to answer your question, he hasn't played. Like, nope. get the kid in the goddamn game, dude. You know what you need? You need speed. You're gonna give we're gonna have Brees Hall's gonna have what 10 catches for 80 yards and a hold and a flag. It's probably coming back. Um, uh, this is bad. Oh, wonderful! It's the second time they've had that. Oh my god! There's no, this is only the third quarter. We got fucking another quarter of this shit. This is like this has like last year feel to it again. Five minutes left, third quarter. Jets offense can't do shit. No, no last, seven, six penalties, forty yards. Prime time. Yep, we're, we're getting up there. Oh, last, last year's, last, last yeah, year's game White. in Buffalo, they actually had a chance. Yeah, we okay, got Mike White. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brock Purdy, twenty-one of twenty-five, three thirty-three, three TDs. Now what? All right, we got the bleeding at the all right. Prime time, we got life. Since when did they review penalties? Who knows? Cares. Okay, okay, cares. Izzy in the game. Too. I'm like, wait, what? Let's put Izzy in the game. Let's just go full, like just Malik Taylor, Brownlee, Izzy. Just go full young youth movement in the game. Well, they had Brownlee in there for like one drive, and then I don't remember seeing him after that. Izzy, we haven't seen at all. Mm -mm. Gibson, we haven't seen enough of. Nope. Gibson's out there. He's just not throwing a ball to him. Well, they don't give him targets. They don't put the ball in his hands. What is the, what is this going on now? What is know. it now? Just end this game already. Holy shit. What are we doing? Why does it look so dark in there? What are we doing? I don't what know. What are we doing? I don't know. I feel bad for any Jet fan that went to this game. I, I couldn't even imagine sitting through that shit. It's just, it's just demoralizing. There you go, Dalvin Cook. You got your four yards. He looks better than Brees right now, which is weird. She hasn't played all year. Well, <laughs> He's fresh. He's fresh. <laughs> but why? They, they still haven't gone back to the double backfield again. Like, why no. do they do that? Uh, I'm just too good. Yeah, everybody. Trevor had a workout like uh like five days ago for somebody. I think the Niners brought him in for a workout. There you go, Sauce. Talk to your teammates. They had yeah. quit in the play. Third and six. Then you get three yards of punt. Watch. Quick check down. Oh my god. Jesus, dude. <clears throat> Look at this lasso fucking thing they got. That's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> I feel like I'm on. Oh, man. So could that be it? Nope. We finally take him out. I mean, I don't know what else they're waiting for. But is... Gibson wide open. Wide open. He's not sure if he doesn't see something. I don't know why they. I just don't. That like, sack's not on the offensive line. That's on him. Yep. Ridiculous. Oh my 
my god yep. this, is the next, this is the next one now i think michelle sent me the fuck the one where he solid tackles him that one's everywhere he literally just takes him and slams it down. It's like that's like the the hidden the the that the anger that was hiding inside of Sala. That was his one chance to get back at his quarterback. Like you little bastard. Yep. Okay, like, yeah, I'm shielding him. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it never. It just never ends. It never ever ends. The joke that just keeps on giving. This the Jets are like the gift that keeps on giving for like just pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. tell you, this is Zach Wilson's game. Like Darnold had his ghost game. This is Zach Wilson's game. The trip game. Trip by ghost. I feel like he's had like ten of those games already. <laughs> just oh, I like whoever said it before the uh, butt stumble. Butt stumble. That's a good one. I That's write that perfect. one down. That's a good one. It just it just doesn't. All right. So for post game videos, do you want the the picture of Salah wrestling down Zach, or do you want Zach <laughs> stumbling by himself? Which one do you want? I'll take the other one. <laughs> I'll take the. Uh, which one do you? I'll let you choose. I kind of want him stumbling by himself. Yeah, yeah. You deserve that one. Okay. I'll take Salah. I'll take Salah slamming him. I'll do that Got one. It. <laughs> I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how to approach the post game video. Is it going to be one of anger or just laugh through it and be like, "We suck," and that's it. I'm not angry because I expected it. I figure you might be a little bit more angry because you had a little bit more hope than I did. But I how many sacks? Did, how many sacks have they given up? This, I think five I mean, down. It's got to be at least five, if not more. Let's see. I mean, it, I mean, it's got to be at least because they had the last two. Yeah, last five, two. five for thirty yards. Oh. Uh, no, we, we definitely find new ways to embarrass ourselves. Yep. This post game interview is gonna be amazing, you bastards. Because now, what's gonna happen is we're look, we're laughing now because we got like you know it's another quarter of football to go through. The post game interview is going to just set me off when this guy starts yep. talking. He's gonna start picking out his excuses though, because you you know what he's gonna say. It's been the same quotes that he just recycles week after week. I mean, I don't think he's gonna change it up at this point. Yep, it's true. We're still got three minutes up in the third quarter. This has to be, is this the longest game in like NFL history? It's My score prediction is going to be on the money because they're at least getting one more touchdown it's here. It's almost 7 o'clock. I know. <sighs> the living hell? Well, it started at 426. So that's where that's where Zach can learn something. That's how you dirt a ball when there's nothing to make out of it. That's it. Oh. Oh, my God. This is going to be a long 45 minutes of bullshit we're going to deal with here. Maybe we'll get a quarterback change. Right. Honestly, I think if the Bills score a touchdown here, like you why wouldn't you make a change at that point? You could justify it because it's a blowout. Yep. If I'm the Bills, I just keep running the ball. Why even throw it? I mean, this game is all long over. Just don't risk anybody getting yeah. hurt. Third and eight. This is true, man. Like the Jets, they they turned the page. Last year they had a complete meltdown down the stretch. And this year, too. They're four and three. They lost three in a row now. So you want to play meaningful games in December, you gotta get there first. They're, they're falling apart before it. Four and six. You almost have to run the table at this point. Right. Gotta run into a table. Uh, rather go through a table. Okay. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be a long eight weeks, man. A lot of excuses. Defense gonna start giving up. This is I'm, true, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be fine until I hear Aaron Rodgers say, "Oh, I, I would have been good to come back, but we weren't in it." This is true, Canuck. It's gonna true. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm cool now. I'm calm. I'm gonna laughing. I, I'm just over it. I know we lost. We're gonna get blown out until Salah starts talking. And then it just, then you just go back to like you just realize how poor hands we really are. Like this, like this last, this last fourth quarter, it should be Malik Taylor, Irv Charles, Izzy, Brownlee, take Lazard out, Rucker, take U Uzama out, take all these guys out. Yep. None of them should be in here. And Zach should be out too. I'm not going to the game on Friday. No, 100% not going to that. 
No, pie yeah. time's got, I'm out. No, I'm I'm not going either. Fuck it. No desire to go to that game. Probably put my tickets up. It's not worth it, dude. Hey, we're getting the ball back. All right. Three scores away. That's right. Here we go. Romo's like, Jesus Christ, I gotta find ways to make this game interesting. I shut it off. Waste of my Sunday. I agree. It's a shame. I feel like every Sunday's like that now. Like you're you have fun watching other games and you're like, oh, now the Jets gotta come yeah, on. You dread when the Jets are coming on. Yep. High snap. I thought almost blocked that shit. All right. See, this season is back alive. Uh, well, touchdown here. You never know. Should be Tim Boyle. Oh, Tim Boyle's coming in, dude. Oh, shit. Here we go. We got Tim Boyle. Let's go. Here we go. Now we are back. Yo, can you imagine? Let's go. We have life. We have energy. Let's go. This is making my weekend now. We finally got him. You know they're getting at least one touchdown. Oh, now. yeah. Let's air this shit out. Let's go, Boyle. I'm with you. Please save our lives. Stay there, Zach. If we'll ever come back. If he marches right down the field and they score, Sal's got a lot. Here we of go. Instant people. energy, dude. Look at this. Instant energy. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. Now you do play. Like, all right, Zach's out of the game. Now we can fucking play hard. And now we have, we have someone we can believe in. Let's go. We finally got Tim Boyle. So here we we need. You know they're getting one touchdown. Yes. Yeah. Did they call timeout? What's going on Is here? Hurt? Or I saw him down on a knee for a sec. Tim Boyle's like, you're calling what play? Fuck this play. No, don't talk to Lazard. That's the one guy you don't want to throw to. <laughs> He's got that learned, Mike White look in his eye right now. He's like, if you learn anything, Tim Boyle, is don't throw the ball to Lazard. And they should put Izzy in and Brownlee in and Malik Taylor in. They got Gibson in. He's calling the plays off. He's like, this is bullshit. There you go, Zach. Stay there. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, no, no, no. I don't, I don't like that. No, no, no. I, I got this. I got this. Let's go, Tim Boyle. They, they is... put Zach in the Uzama section. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put a hood up at this point. Let's go, Tim. Oh. That big arm off. Fucking hack it. You're killing me, dude. Back-to-back -back runs, down by 23. Too, too bad it didn't do it at halftime. 7 of 15, 81 yards. Let him throw the ball, dude. I was trying, to, I was trying to hear what the report was saying. All right. The report was saying something about like asking Salah at halftime, like if he was going to bench Zach, and like Zach gave some weird answer, and, or Salah gave some weird answer. Salah is just to... weird, dude. The, the, the way she was explaining it, though, I, I only heard part of it. Something about Nathaniel Hackett put in word from the booth. And uh, if you guys had the volume, I'm curious what they were saying about that. I had them write, write a letter, get it signed off on by like Joe Douglas. Third and five. Come on, boy. Let's go. You could do it. it. Almost made it sound like the quarterback change came from Hackett, not Salah, but I didn't hear what they said. Well, Salah's busy right now. Well, yeah. Look at Third his kid. Dude, there we go. Look right the ball. got rid of the ball. See, he identified it. He dropped back. Bought some extra time. Terrible spot. What the hell? He got rid of it That's quick, dude. Let's spot. go. Let's terrible go, spot. Boyle. We are back. They give it to him? I don't know. Let's oh, go. This is exciting. This is I give you a whole new energy now. Boyle, I may listen. If Boyle starts on Friday, I may go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only, I'm kidding. I'm definitely not going. Place will be rocking if Boyle started. Could you imagine? <sighs> I just want the I want the full blown quarterback controversy. I want Boyle to go down the field, throw a touchdown pass, and be like, "Why didn't you play oh, earlier?" Two now. Give me at yeah. least two touchdowns. Let's go. Hack it demanded Boyle, as they're saying. Is that what they were saying? That's what I it sounded know. like. 
because she made it sound like she asked Salah at halftime if there was going to be a quarterback change, and he didn't make it sound like there was going to be one. And then she started saying something about Hackett up from the booth. <laughs> if they score, the water will boil. <laughs> <laughs> Boyle gets rid of the ball. He did a good job in that last one. He right? said the blitz got rid of it. Boyle for president. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what she said because I guess it was a uh, spot. It seemed like it was short. Well, I'm sure they're going to ask. They're going to ask Salah after the game what you know, how this work. Yep. It almost sounded like Gase's old explanation for the play calling. Yep. Where it's like, oh, you know, Logan sent it in to me, and then I relayed it to the quarterback. Hackett made the change. Wow. Hackett asked for the quarterback change. Like, why wow. couldn't, couldn't Salah ask for it? Does he not see what's going on in the field? Is Salah, like, not allowed to make a change? Who knows, dude? He never like, this what team. The hell? It's a clown show. Hackett made the call, it sounded like. Wow. They said Hackett made the change, and Sal had to tell Zach on the sideline that Zach that Hackett decided to bench him. Doesn't your head coach bench what the quarterback? The, what kind of what kind of shit is that? <laughs> Who's running this team? You might as well fire nobody. The, you might as well fire. You might as well fire Solomon. Hackett's your head coach. Like Hackett's what your the, head coach then. Like, so it what? takes Hackett making the call. Like Sal is not allowed to do that. I can tell Sal go talk to your quarterback. He's now on the bench. It's like Hackett's like, what? yo, bro, I'm gonna bench your quarterback, all right, man. Go, go tell him for me. Like, what fucking? <laughs> who is just? What, fucking, what are we doing? Like, who's running our, this team? Our offensive coordinator is running our team. He's making the decisions. So Sal is basically a puppet. What is he doing on the sideline? Then he's just basically a cheerleader. I is can't a, wait for this explanation after the game. Dude, what is he doing then? Is he just like? Does he have like a front row seat to the game? Is that all he has? What? Fourth and how one. bad is it going to look if they actually do score two touchdowns? Dude, here? we got it. We got a first down on fourth and first one. Down, we never there get we those. go. We never get those. Nope. So the offensive coordinator decides when to bench your quarterback, not the head coach. Yep. Like what? <laughs> Mickey Mouse organization. <laughs> you might as well fire Salah. Let Hackett be the head coach. Just make yeah, Rodgers happy. Who cares? What purpose do, does he have? We're just making him your defensive coordinator. If he doesn't. Like if if Sala doesn't bench his own quarterback, what does what purpose does he serve on the sideline? Like seriously, he, it's just what value does he have? He's a cheerleader. Speech He's not even good at that. It. Yeah, exactly. Our offensive coordinator is the head coach. They've got. I cannot. You got to hear him explain this. We've got to hear this. We. <laughs> this is just. Just what are we doing? This is some shit, dude. Unless he Hackett just figured, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get murdered in the media again. I might as well look for my fall guy, which is Zach. Take him out. But you got to You, dude. The explaining of this quarterback change should cost Sal his job. Should. Seriously, dude. If you don't, if it you're won't. not the guy, you're watching incompetent offense, and your coordinator says, "I'm benching the quarterback." Your coordinator. What in the fuck are we doing? Bro, this guy's got to go. He's got to go. He has to. This guy, you might as well make Hackett the fucking coach then. He's our head coach. You got Ulbricht. He's fine. That could happen, actually. It could happen. <sighs> this team, what, what do we deal with? Every year, it's some bullshit. Come on, Boyle. High snap. Reads it, gets rid of it, <laughs> and, and Garrett Wilson fumbles it. Oh, my God. Again, <clears throat> for Garrett, unbelievable. And they're going to take it back. Unbelievable. Great effort, Lazard. And he gives him a hug. Are you serious? Did you see that? <laughs> Did you fucking see that? Lazard hugged him at the end zone. Like, he, congratulated. Him he congratulated him. Nice play, bro. Like, congratulations, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, just... he gave him a fucking hug. <laughs> he, <gave> him a... <laughs> he just taunted you for the last 10 yards of that touchdown, <laughs> and you walk in the end zone and give him a fucking hug. 
<laughs> this team is a, they're, we're, we're just, we're clowns. Oh Garrett God. Wilson no. fumbled now. That's back to back weeks for Wilson, isn't it? What are they saying? No touchdown? What happened? I missed the call. He's like, he was down or some shit. Like Lazard, he just, he, he taunted you and you hugged him. They said, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Like, what are we doing? Oh my God. Garrett Wilson's fumbling now every week. They've all quit. It's like, this They've is, had enough. this is, this is a same old Jets. This is just garbage now. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, this is just a, 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 another level of embarrassing. Like I thought, losing to the Raiders this is last bad. Year all over again. Yeah, this is worse than last year. Now you got Garrett Wilson contributing to the mess, and then the is like, Unbelievable. dude, can you imagine? Like, I'd have more respect for Lazard if he leveled him in the end zone, like just like took a personal foul and just drilled yeah, him, swat the ball out of his hand. <laughs> yeah, he I don't draw flag. <laughs> he hugged him. <laughs> He fucking hugged him. What the fuck are we doing? Dude, the hot the highlights that are gonna come from this game are a Lazard hug a Lazard hug in the end zone, and then you got Zach falling over himself and Salah tackling Zach on the sideline. Those are gonna and, be and, the three things that you see all week from this game. And then Hackett benching the quarterback and not fucking the head coach. Yeah. <laughs> just the, the offensive coordinator telling the head coach he's gotta go talk to his quarterback because he's now on the bench. Lazard just hugged the fucking like I don't understand. Like, what are we doing? Like, he just I don't understand. This is like an epic. This, this league. might be the worst game we've ever streamed. This is it. This is it. This is this is one of the worst games we've ever watched. This is he the guy just got done taunting him. He ran up and he hugged him. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? <sighs> This is this is rich co-type bad. This is where we're at. This is this is co-type bullshit is now. Like this is unbelievable. I mean, what? <laughs> Will you be my friend? Exactly. Like, what did Lazard say to him? What, like, what did Lazard say to him when he hugged him? Nice job, bro. Thanks, thanks for taunting me. Nice play. Good job. Like, like, right, what was right, that conversation? You got, you got that one. You got that one. Good play. Like, what? But what did I wonder what Lazard said? Like, what? He was congratulating him. This is just unbelievable. Salah's got to go, dude. He's got to go. You've got to. You've got to. Somebody's got to be held accountable for this garbage. We're gonna be we're gonna lose by 40 points today. Oh, look at Reed. Ugh. I just he just I mean very fortunate for the Jets. Nothing fortunate for the Jets. We're getting blown out. What the hell is fortunate? Oh my god. Would you honestly have Gase or Sala? Christ. That's like how you, they both suck, dude. I mean, at least we have a defense with Salah. Yeah. I mean, I you know it's like you it's like would you rather have would you rather have Salah or Bowles? I'd rather have Bowles at this point. Jesus, he's ter Salah's terrible, dude. <laughs> at least we get to talk to him. That's, this is true, dude. That may be my picture for the my video is is Lazard <laughs> hugging the guy in the end zone. Option number three now. Oh. God, yeah, this channel is gonna go right to shit. I'm gonna yeah. tell you if you guys are you looking promised. for the top, you promised. I told you if the team goes to shit, this channel goes to shit. We're gonna have all kinds of special guests now. This is, we have no choice. I apologize in advance, Jets. I know you, we were on a good side for a little while there, but that's gone. <laughs> it's, <sighs> go back on the band list again. This oh. is so bad. Yeah, this this locker room is going to. Just be just nuclear. They are going to be finger pointing. Just players only meeting didn't do shit. Only question needs to be asked tonight: Why isn't Boyle played yet? <laughs> you could have made. I mean, the problem was that yeah. that drive before the half, after the fake punt, Zach they scored. So that's why Sal can say he kept him in the game. Yeah, they would have made the change probably to start the yep. half if not for that. Yep. I'm down for some pizza, Mr. Slick. I'm always down for pizza. I could use some pizza right now. 
bro, this is this is it right here. Like, if your teammates like that, if the guy like what Lazar did, hug the player in the end zone. Like, dude, there'd definitely be problems in a locker room after the game for that shit. They mailed it in, dude. Season's done. But I would definitely. I'm with. I'm with high altitude. I would be in the same boat him with he was. You woke up to him like, bro, what are you doing? Now what's Clemens doing, acting a clown? Clemens hit him. Well, a personal foul. Yep. This is just a lack of. This is just a lack of. Uh... Yeah. Now you get taunted. This is the lack of discipline. This is all the things that's wrong with this team right now. Is all going to come out. Clemens shouldn't see another play. No. This was just out of control. Because he got lit up. <sighs> this is a bona fide mess now. The wheels are. Oh, yeah. Whoa, they called it on Buffalo. What? Is it on Buffalo or the Jets? They called it on Buffalo. That's what the Did graphic they? was showing. Second and 20. Oh, shit. He, he jumped on Dawkins. Uh, Dawkins jumped on him first and he retaliated. Looks so. like they called it retaliation. Wow. They are, they are unraveling right before our eyes. I agree. 100% agree. This is prime time. You're right. This is probably one of the worst games we've streamed. We, we we've streamed some shit. This is probably yep. the worst one we've streamed, especially in a big game. Yeah, especially with your season on the line. Like this is like you really to stay relevant. You start with the fucking the, the fumbled to kick off. Yeah, that set the tone. The players meeting obviously didn't do shit. And they got Garrett Wilson fumbling again. The offensive line can't block. Zach played like shit. The only guy that did anything today was Brees mm -hmm. Hall. And he only did it out of the out of the backfield. I mean, he wasn't running the nope. ball anywhere. Nope. He had, he had one positive run. Now, Sauce didn't get benched. He's still in the game. Yeah, he's still out there. Solid benching Sauce. Are you kidding me? He can't be, he can't be bench his own quarterback. You think he's going to bench Sauce? Another flag. Oh, there's 11 minutes left in this game? Yep. Oh my God, dude. This is just disgusting. Declined. All right, we still have a shot. A shot of what? Three... I need Ooh. a shot. We have enough time for three possessions, right? Bro. Come well, just, well you're right. We have Tim Boyle, though. So there's a, there's... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Three touchdowns with three two-point conversions. Jets win it 30-29. to 29. You ready for this? No. I'm ready for a lot of things, but that's not it. Like, you got to really look at the state of this team going forward and be like, does Aaron Rodgers really make this team better when you have this head coach and this coordinator? No. They're terrible, dude. This is a terrible team. I, I There's no covers, discipline. I think she covers up a lot of what is wrong with this team. There's a lot wrong with this fucking team, dude. I, I know. Including the general manager. Look at the guys we're making fun of. Those are guys that were all burning as free agents. Jets spent a lot of friggin' money. Got no return on the investment whatsoever. Well, those were all like Aaron Rodgers guys. It's fucking wild, dude. Like, you think about it. I mean, we're, like, like we're guys were making fun of Uzama, Lazard, Carl Lawson. Dude, they're, like, Dalvin Cook's been a complete bust. Yep. Billy Turner, we're making fun of him. Tomlinson's been average. Dwayne Brown doesn't even play. Look at all the fucking moves they made. They traded Hardman. It's four off seasons of moves, and he really has one draft that he can really prop up. And then free agency, yeah. I mean, it's it's DJ Reed and some of those smaller moves like JFM and Quincy and Bryce Huff. That's it. The bad far outweighs the good, dude. Nope. And you think about it, and the, I'll get I'll give Ian credit for this because I, I didn't come up with this myself. We gave him credit for like Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson and shit. Those are first round picks, dude. They're supposed to be good picks. Those, those I mean, were top ten picks. I'm saying, like, like you give him credit for taking them, but they're yeah. like, it's not like yeah. he went out of the blue and like they're supposed to be good. Like you trade up to get Jermaine Johnson, he's supposed to be good. And the first round picks, they're supposed to be called, yeah. you know, Brees Hall, very first running back ticket in the draft, it's supposed to be very good, yep. right? That's we give him credit for it, but all right, what's after that? 
You just cut Michael Carter. He's gone. Elijah Moore, gone. Denzel gone. Mims, gone. Zach Wilson, complete colossal bust. Makai Becton, not going to work out. He's going to be gone. Yep. Look at look at what look at the state of this team, dude. And look, and look at going into next year. Look at what you have. You have no left tackle. You have no right tackle. Tipman, you hope is a center. Tomlinson's a, a average guard. And I'm, now sure, a- I'm, I'm sure they're going to try to keep AVT at one of those tackle spots. But AVT's injury riddled. I know. I know. He really like I love AVT. He's a great dude. He's injury riddled, dude. He can't stay healthy. Yep. So Joe Douglas is offensive line guru. What the fuck's the offensive line going forward? Every asset that you have, you have to invest in your offense this offseason. That includes offensive and, and, line. That, that could you, include another tight end to replace Uzama and a receiver. You need more than one receiver. Lazard's terrible. Lazard's going to be Lazard's terrible. Cobb should be gone. Gibson's still relatively young. And they're going to need another running back because Cook is going to walk. You haven't yeah. seen Izzy at all this year. You should haven't seen Izzy tonight. This is just you know, and and I can blame JD. Like I can blame him because you, oh, bro. Don't get me started on Joe Douglas, dude. Joe Douglas should be fired. Can be fired based on the handling of the quarterback position alone, just alone. He could be fired. He drafted he drafted Zach and tripled down and doubled down on him or quadrupled down on him again. And his hand, and he he banked on Dwayne Brown coming off a major injury that didn't work out. Joe Douglas is far from invincible in this mess. Far. His best team was the team that he inherited, record-wise. Yep. Says a lot. In four years, what have we built? And the head coach was that was his hire, too. Yep. We want to get mad at that. I mean, that was that was his hire. This is a mess from top to bottom, including the clown owner. It wears that goddamn chain. Ripped that thing up his neck. Stop embarrassing himself with that. Act like an owner, not a clown. Uh, second and ten. Second and ten. Come on, boy. Just throw the ball downfield. I don't even give a shit. It's anything to what we're doing. Might as well take some chances here. The yeah, line's actually blocking for him. Oh, motivated. My oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh. <clears throat> Trevor oh. Simeon next week. It should, it should have been this week, dude. Yep. Trevor Simmons should be the quarterback this week. This is easily one of the worst games we've streamed. So that's why they didn't want to play Boyle, I guess. Yep. But that's why Trevor Simmons should have been up. Yep. He trapped that. He trapped that, dude. He didn't, he didn't uh, pick that off. I don't know. Come on. Maybe I, I've had I just, I just don't want to review. Waste another five minutes. <laughs> Simeon's not active, man. Yep. Actually, this is not right, Lamar. Every Sundays are getting worse right now. The games are getting worse. The team is going completely. It's going in the wrong direction now. Still review this. Just keep the game moving. He trapped it, dude. Challenge it, solid. Feel like you're doing Stop something. Stop it. His Challenge it. Because, dude, you know why I want Salah to challenge it? Because he does nothing else. What does he do? If Ulbrich calls the plays on defense and Hackett obviously decides everything on offense, Salah's only responsible for, for reviews and penalty arguing. What else is he responsible for? Tell me what else he does, primetime. Tell me. They make halftime adjustments. Come on, dude. He doesn't do anything. He's a glorified cheerleader. He's not even good at that. He doesn't even talk to his team. He stands there. He, he, had actually, some good speeches. he had some good speeches on Hard Knocks. He was a fraud. That shit wasn't true. It was made for TV nonsense. He, he's, a, he's actually a worse Todd Bowles. He is. We're still trying to, what are we, the crow trying to get the eagle? <laughs> How does it go? I got news for you, dude. We're like a, we're like a dead seagull. Are they looking at this? I don't. What, I don't know what we're looking at anymore. I don't even want to watch the game anymore. I'm over this shit. They're gonna overturn that. He is yeah, a fraud. Sal is a fraud. Told you, prime time. Told you. Bring boy back. We're back. 
And the thing is, poor Boyle sent this. Like, this is what I don't understand. Boyle was sitting on the bench. Like, he gave up. Like, oh, I gave up. Somebody should tell him, listen, man, get back on the field. Get with your team because it's not an interception. Is there any yeah. communication? Are you all sitting like a bunch of idiots? No wonder Aaron Rodgers didn't want to go to Buffalo. He didn't want to watch this shit either. Now Trevor Simeon's talking to fucking Wilson. <laughs> Where was he two hours ago? This team is like, this is this is like code type bullshit, man. We are just this is Trevor Simeon's trying to pick his brain for his start next week. He's like, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. He's like, Zach, keep your helmet on, put the hood up too, so nobody can see who you are, and get off the field as soon as possible after the game. So the fans don't throw shit at you. It's a face mask. Jets Nothing? football. Jets football. Come get something here. Come, come get something. <laughs> Definitely got hit in the head. I thought so. I wish I was getting hit in the head. Right there. Step up right here. Run. But look at the pocket, dude. Just run. I know you couldn't have because that was who's that, Vaughn? No, it's no, yeah, he would have got taken out. Yep. Oh, yeah, you get gets punched in the head. Come on, man. We don't get no calls. No. Ref's trying to go home now. Me too. Even the even the special teams is going to shit. Oh, now. he almost blocked that. Special teams is going right to shit now. Yep. So this the team just they're all just quitting now. They're just ten more minutes, nine and a half more minutes of this. It's so gross. Yep. Like, like if you're a fan, like this is only diehards are watching this now because there's no really reason why to watch it other than to laugh, laugh and find out more of the just horrific nature of this team. Look at Sal. Look at like he's sitting there like just hanging out, dude. He's at. I can't take it, Brian. I want him Same gone. Expression. Every Look at him. What does he do? Emotionless. What does he do? Does he like? I wonder he just the, the headset with everybody. If he you take away his everything. headset, if you take away his headset during the game, would would anybody even notice? Would anybody even nope. notice there's a change? Probably not. This is Aaron Rodgers probably watching this shit. He's going to retire. Like, fuck this rehab. I'm done. Last four weeks, we have 13 points, 6 points, 12 points, and 6 points. Browns beat the Steelers with a rookie quarterback. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Dolphins, 400 total yards. <laughs> They're coming to oh, go to play wow. the Jets. <laughs> the Texans, stay hot. Rookie quarterback. Mm-hmm. This is bad, dude. And the Raiders played well. That was at least. Yeah. All right. This defense is completely given up. They don't care. Yep. Completely given up. I'm just going to run it out. We did want Simeon. Simeon should have been active for the game. It shouldn't have been Boyle. We've been saying this since the bye week. That's the only good thing about not deleting our videos. You can actually see what we said a month ago, five weeks ago, eight weeks ago. We keep all our shit up. It still bothers me that that was the only move they made. Yep. Purdy threw for 300. <laughs> Solid got Joe Rogan podcast in his headphones. I honestly don't know what he does. I don't know what he does. I don't. I. Oh, my God. This is bad now. What now? Why is Mosley even just so just they just know this locker room is gonna be so divided after this game, dude. 100 now you're, yeah. now you're gonna start to, to see it. Finger point is gonna start. Yep. There's gonna be some shit with sauce though, because they're gonna definitely question sauce, be like, you quit on that play, and there's no doubt about yep. that he did that. And that personal foul was terrible too. Yep. <sighs> Guys have had enough. Bro, I wouldn't be surprised to get blown out on Friday. It would not surprise me at all. Not at all. It's it's done. Damage is done now. And they're going to look even worse because the fucking Giants had that the game with DeVito today. So they're going to be mocked even more. Yep. You had the butt stumble. You have Salah tripping, Salah slamming your, your own quarterback. And Lazard's bro hug. And then Salah not benching his own quarterback. He's being told by Hackett to do so. You can't even make this up, dude. Nope. Like, like, this is just... Oh. 
And I'm old, dude. I've seen a lot of bad football, a lot of stupid shit with this team. This is like another level of just incompetence now. This is bad. Jesus. Gino's trying to lead the comeback. 40 seconds left. Fucking. Their game's almost over. We got another seven minutes of this shit. Seven seconds left. Seahawks with the ball on the 37, down by one. <laughs> what do you think of my profile pick? I like it. The Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> That's clever. The word was that the sideline reporter said to hack it, call down the solo to tell him to tell Zach that he was being benched. That's what they said. I don't know. They're going to S on the press conference. We can't hear the sound of the game. So <laughs> this is, this is, this is true. That is so true. Probably. That, that's a shirt we should make. You're not a fan. You hate the team. I've hated them for a full decade now. Oh uh, yeah. Lazard hugged the player when he scored a touchdown. We thought he caused it. <laughs> just, Oh my God! Did we miss Rose? Did Rose come in here and insult us? Oh, did she? I don't know. Are you looking forward to that usually? Hey, third down stop! Look at that. Did we miss a Rose mention? As JFM is throwing punches again, they're all throwing punches. There's that. There's that disciplined Jets team. My God, dude! When you're down twenty three, this shit just looks. It just looks like undisciplined bunch yeah. of just sore losers that are just yep. poorly coached and a lack of leadership as well. Yeah, I thought Rose, this is when Rose usually comes in and attacks us, passes their yep. comment and leaves. Yeah, the uh, Woody John says they were paid for a head coach, so I doubt he gets Harbaugh. He's too cheap. Well, maybe he's desperate enough now. And then he already read the whole Aaron Rodgers factor. Would Aaron Rodgers play for Jim Harbaugh? Because then you Hackett won't so. be here. After a full year in this locker room, this team is so undisciplined. It's just it's a mess. Jason Myers misses from 55 yards, so the Rams are going to win it. Lazard gives huggies. <laughs> Sick. They can beat the Dolphins next week and redeem themselves. They ain't beating the Dolphins next week. There's no chance. Nope. They only got lucky last year because they played Bridgewater for like one series and then he got hurt. And now the locker room is going to be just divided. You lost three in a row. You're getting humiliated again. You've lost like this was the this was the game of the week. You have Nance and Romo there. You're getting embarrassed in this one. You lost to a rookie head coach, an interim head coach, and a rookie quarterback. And the Chargers embarrassed you. And the Giants should have beat you with negative nine passing yards. This team really should only have like one or two wins. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the I don't know how the only game they won somewhat convincingly. I don't know how Sal is not on the hot seat. I really don't because he has Rogers to fall back on. That's it. It's not good enough for me, man. <laughs> Final one touchdown, one trip, one quarterback change, one quarterback tackle, one hug. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are they I, going I, for this on fourth and three? Are they? I'm not even paying attention anymore. I don't even care anymore. I just want this over. You're going for it. Five and a half minutes. Oh, Brent Nichols is off sides. Oh, he's out. All right. No, they're just oh, playing around. Uh, what are you doing? Why I mean, are you be, wasting time? You got to think about Aaron Rodgers, as intelligent as he is, and as established as he is, watching over this and seeing all of the the philosophical problems, the personnel problems, the sloppiness, the lack of discipline and leadership. I mean, he's a great player. Is he that great to offset all of this? No. Yeah. Well, he's gonna he's gonna want to. He's gonna want the challenge. He gets to be the uh, hero. He, he comes back and dude. saves everybody, whole organization. Dude, this team is so flawed. It is so flawed. It's poorly constructed. Start your offensive line. You got to rebuild your entire offensive line. Probably the on cloud thing that for me. It's just like no, the right, what right the now, is. dude. Right now, Rich Simini's beaten off. He loves this kind of shit, man. You know he is, dude. He's fucking probably he has eight articles written already. He probably wet his pants twice already in this game. He loves this shit. He lives for it. Fifty yard field goal. Great. Drilled it. Thirty two to six. I'm six uh, points off on my score. I'm not doing game predictions anymore. I'm done. 
to a two-minute video. Jets are gonna lose. Have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. You can make it a YouTube short. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. We gotta do more shorts. That's fucking perfect. <laughs> 20 second videos. It's just basically saying the Jets are playing the Dolphins on Black Friday. They're gonna lose. Have a great weekend. God bless. Zach, Zach Wilson will get benched again. <laughs> Mike Clemens is probably ready to fight one of his team. Don't go in the stand to fight the fans. 32 to 6. Disaster. This is the ugliest game we've streamed. And we've been through some bad ones, dude. But just all the all the, like the contributing factors. There wasn't anything worse in in 2020. Because I feel like there were some bad ones in there. Dude, we had Zach Wilson trip, solid tackled Zach Wilson, Hackett now, benched the quarterback, Lazard hugged somebody. Secrets. Now he's telling secrets to Garrett Wilson. <laughs> he's like, the guy Wilson's <laughs> like, yeah, bro, you suck, bro, you suck. <laughs> Garrett has no interest in the story, whatever he's talking. About. Garrett's like, yeah, I really want you off my team so bad, but go. I'm gonna act like I like you right now. Like, yeah, we're probably being recorded. Yeah, he's like, we're going to act like we're talking, talking about good stuff, but I actually hate you. And he fumbled again. Yep. Oh, that player's only me and didn't do much, huh? Yeah, seriously. Hey, yeah, Brandon Eccles are returning him now. Great. So, oh, no, it's, it's easy. I'm sorry. That is he, right? That was easy, I think. Yeah, it's Izzy, 25. So, so then is Izzy now in the game? Because he should be. Like, let him get a couple carries you would here. Think, you would think. I mean, the you're PR team was – You're down by 26 points. When are you going to do it? The PR team was so proud of someone walking in the stadium. Like, oh, Izzy's making his debut. Meanwhile, they don't fucking use him. Yep. I hate this team. I well, really they got do. Brownlee in there. I hate this team. I genuinely hate this team. Oh, he's in now. Yeah, he's back there. There you go. Oh, five Brownlee, minutes left in the game. Izzy, you got Gibson. Got Ruckert. Just throw it deep. All right, he fell. He that was, fell that was a pretty ball, too. Garrett Wilson fell. That was Garrett. Was it? He shouldn't even be in the game. Yeah, Garrett Wilson shouldn't be in the game at this point. Take him out. Did he? I missed it, dude. I've been kind of, I've been tuned out. I'm just so mad at shit right now. Dude, you know what? Ian, he, our last show, we got criticized a lot, and we're just being honest, man. Like, I don't know what you want us to say. I feel bad because, like, they're, we got a, both got attacked last week. I don't have to tell you. Well, there's some people that only want you to positively spin everything, but when you're putting up single digits and points more often than you're not, nice so run there, else, Izzy. Yeah. So not what you could do. Like, you, you try no. to put a – like, you could point out the positives, but in a game like this, what's the positive? There's no positives here. So what do you want us to say? Like, uh, uh what? Like, what's the, you can't, like, you can't generate positive takes for no reason. Right? Like, I don't know, like, I don't no, know what. One out. You've lost three in a row I'm now. Serious? It's going in the wrong direction. And they're like, oh, you know, you're too critical of Salah. It's the one of the worst offenses in football. He oversees it. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to spin it, dude. <laughs> I tried to. I didn't even I have the effort to put a spin on it. I knew it was going to happen this week. I can't even imagine Fireman Ed being there today. It's going to be – that's just – feel bad. Yeah, that's just a terrible walk. I mean, you're not – you weren't even competitive today. This was pretty – I agree with this. 100% Zach can't start on Friday. He should be done. That's over. They wow, they already that. updated the standings. Here we are, one and four and six. From four and three to four and six. They usually don't do that during the game. Bro, Wesley, Wesley, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you guys don't like us being harsh on this team, then we're probably not the channel for you because we just keep it real, man. And the one thing we always say, it's like the, the shit we say now, if you hang out with us in a parking lot, you hang out with us in, in a bar hanging out, we'd say the same exact thing. It's not made for, like, we don't chase subscribers or views or anything. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, this is this is going to have to happen prime time. Hey, what's that? Well, this you promised happening. you promised yeah. if they yeah. lost, it was going to happen. So yeah. this is it's definitely happening now. Scorched Are they going for this on fourth and three? All right, now we can lose uh, thirty nine to six. Yeah, at least he's going for it. Give him credit for that, bro. Stop yeah. it. Hackett probably wants to go I mean, for if, it. If, if, we, if we were really Todd Bowles, then we would have punted here. No, no, Hackett went for it prime time. Solid to make the decision. Sure. <laughs> 
That's true. <laughs> it's just let's I'm, not I'm, act like the coach makes any decisions. I like that call. He's gonna call. It's like drink beer. We need that in a GIF. It's a game, man. We, we, we can't leave the game early. I mean, we're here, but I probably checked out about a half hour ago. Now I'm just here for oh, the- Izzy dropped it. I checked out after that first drive. <laughs> uh, here's a question. Where is it? That's a good question. What would be your genuine reaction if Woody fired Sal tomorrow? It wouldn't phase me one bit. Go for it. I don't care. Sal is not the would, long-term answer. He's not. He's not. A my, my genuine reaction, honestly, would be shock because I don't expect anything to happen because of yeah. Rogers. Yeah, I would have no problem firing him. He's not the long-term answer for his team. He's not a good head coach. He's just not. There you go. Is he caught this one? Oh. Nice block. Well, we're gonna have to stay for it now because we got to We want to hear him explain the benching of Zach. He's gonna bungle that. So you know, you know for sure that the press conference is gonna be late. Because they got, they got to get all the lines of communication. They all got to make sure they say the same thing and tell yeah. the team to say the same thing too and tell Zach to say the same thing so they don't look even more foolish. Right? You know they are. The Jets got to do the whole spin control. That's what the PR team does oh, best. My God. No, no. Yeah, oh. thank you. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to everybody too. That's most importantly. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Rucker yeah, just got lit up. Let's go to eat. Tim Boyle seems to throw the ball high. He sails a lot of them, looks like. I agree. Sal is not the long-term answer. He's not not the head coach for this team. This game is just is just the this is the beginning of the end for everybody. You got to, I mean, you you have all kinds of problems. You have, you've got to rebuild so much on this team now. There's a lot of dead weight. Look at all the factors that are making a lot of money that aren't contributing on this team. It's a lot, man. A lot of guys you can get rid of, though, at the end of the year. Yep. Is <laughs> a fortune cookie writer. Uh, there's no accountability. There's no leadership. There's no direction. There's no coaching. Oh, not they're fine. Yep. Yep. And this is – they're not – they're going to – I mean, Hackett's going to be the answer. It's, it's, if uh, Rodgers is coming back, Hackett's thing here. He's not going anywhere. Nobody's going anywhere. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, Stephen. Thank you for always watching the videos too, man. I appreciate it. Tanking. They've been tanking. <laughs> Fourth and five. Fourth and five. Just end this game. My God. Who was that to? What the hell? I think it was actually the Izzy, and he didn't even realize it. It's almost, fuck it, it's a quarter to eight? Yep. My God. This is some garbage, man. He just cuts it off. He just jumps right in front of it. That was to Conklin. Just a bad pass. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be to Izzy underneath. It was triple coverage. <laughs> oh, my God. We're happy, man. Hey. We're happy the game is almost over. <sighs> this went down this... exactly as I saw it in my mind. Saw the same way I was, I was trying to talk about it on Tuesday, this was exactly how I saw it playing out. <laughs> Well, we ran out of humans and some self-inflicted wounds. And you got to give credit to Buffalo. It's a very, very good Buffalo team over there. You know, they had they had a lot to bounce back from. Offense was close. A few plays. Close. A few plays. We had a player here and there that would have changed the whole game. Before half, we had some momentum. We had the fake punt. We had the drive. We scored a touchdown. Went for two, didn't get it. But I really felt good about the team going into halftime. What happened at the halftime? What happened at the halftime? <laughs> Uh, well, so somehow we were four or five on fourth downs, but 0 for 11 on third downs. <laughs> it's just, oh my God, this is just, I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, and this is it. This is, if we were ever to make another shirt, 
that would be it. Best week of practice. Yep. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Happy Thanksgiving to your family, Thank man. You. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't worry. If anybody's a, if anybody's familiar with our channel, shit's going down. <laughs> it's just during Thanksgiving week. Do we have? Yeah, maybe that's probably not the best time to do it, right? We, we after the holiday. I mean, you, pro you, you promised. I promised. Are you a man of your word? Always, dude. I, you know how I get, bro. When I, you know, when I get when I get in moods like this, I go fucking scorcher. Like my video, my post game videos can probably be a half hour long. I'm so pissed. This is like this is like a, like a rich Kotite kind of loss. You know what I mean? This reminded me a lot of the Seattle game at the end of last year. This is sloppy though. Like you see so many alarming things. It's just this isn't. And they're and they're building and building and building over every week. It's actually getting worse. Yep. And then if, if everybody's saying how bad Boyle is, that's who they wanted to play. Like they didn't want Trevor Simeon to play. He was actually an accomplished NFL quarterback. He actually has a resume. But he knows the system, though. Yep. Muppets and puppets are back. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go down this path again. All the good, all like the good graces we built up, and now we're gonna gone. <laughs> oh, just. We we'll officially back. back. We'll have to go back checking emails for like the threatening letters. You can't do this. You can't do that. Stop doing this. Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> officially back. Hug life. We got we're back to draft talk in late late November. God help us. Prime time's gonna be doing breaking down Joe Douglas's moves. I know that one's coming. <laughs> here to, I know that because prime time's all about analyzing general managers and roasting the shit out of them or defending them. That video is one hundred percent coming soon. I know it's coming. Somebody yeah. already put up a comment on my last video about the comparative analysis between Joe Douglas and Mike McCagden. When's that coming? Like, get ready for it. It's going to be a 20-minute sermon about yep. Joe Douglas's flaws. That's definitely yep. coming. Uh, yep, this is it. Yeah, this is – we could do this. We, it's, we could actually make – we could actually enhance our solid experience to have like a one-on-one -on -one interview and then take questions from the chat and see what this – that could get dangerous. <laughs> get dangerous. That could get real dangerous. <laughs> oh. oh man, I'm just I can't, disgusted. They I just can't believe we're this season away. I cannot believe we're back here again. Ty Johnson put the nail in our coffin. <laughs> oh, there he is again. Is that him again? Yep. Just running us over. Yep. You know, Romo Nats like, geez, we got to cover this game. This game is terrible. It's been over for two hours now. <sighs> Jets bingo is going to have to come back now. That's definitely going to come back. That's definitely happening for next Friday. Yeah, we 1, definitely. Bingo definitely coming back. Uh I mean. The only defender of 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 Sal has been, I think, even Benigno's probably soured him at this point. Well, I mean, but, they text all the time, so yeah. But I mean, if you, like, I don't know how you're a defender of anybody right now on this team. How do you literally defend anybody on this team? Oh, then like, like, like you know, Bryce Hoff, Brees Hall, Jermaine Johnson. Even Brees Hall hasn't done much. I mean, he's not his fault, but yeah, it's not his fault. But I'm like, in terms of just. I guess the only one you could really defend is like Ulbricht as the defensive coordinator. That's probably yes. pretty much it. Quinnen. Quinnen. Yeah, but they're going to look at his stats. and like, oh, his stats yeah. are – I mean, even Sauce, dude. Sauce Gardner, you're disappointed with him, dude. Like, the personal foul was bad. He got burnt by Shakir, and he gave up on the play. He literally – you could literally – he seemed like he stopped running. We literally saw he it. He drives in a row where he cost you two touchdowns. So now we can listen to this guy talk. Bro, this could be this, this is going to be this press conference is going to be it, dude. Because you've lost three in a row, you were thoroughly embarrassed, and you're and there are things that happen on this field are just unimaginable. Do we really have to listen to this? Yes, we do. Because this is going to be this may add five minutes to my post game video from four and three to four and six. Nobody has video of the Lazard hug. What? Somebody somebody definitely has it. Give it time. Let's talk Jets Bingo is back. 
Our special guest interviews are back. <laughs> it's our time to shine, prime time. <laughs> yep. Glad to be back. But don't leave us, though, because we got to do a fundraiser for the uh, Jersey City Fire Department, the toy drives. We got to come up with something for them. Hopefully, we can do hats or something. Oh, we are back. So back. <laughs> yeah, we got, we, we, dude, I could do this. I could actually arrange this. I, I trained by, okay. we could do, I could, I could do that, 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 that will absolutely be part of the video. <laughs> it's just, gonna, it's just. I like can you do. Pick, you pick a, a high school arena somewhere, or any place you can find some stairs. Let me know. I will make the trip. I'll do and all I, the can, I gotta all wear video. like a I gotta wear like a positive vibes only shirt, and I'll come down and start firing out all the inspir inspirational quotes and shit like that. I, I think you should find like a sixty percent shirt. Because <laughs> this is vibes of last year right now. So <laughs> this is true. Oh, we gotta do. That. We're gonna have all kinds of YouTube short. <laughs> Just. <sighs> We're fucking. We're gonna get banned everywhere. This is not gonna end well for anybody. We're gonna get literally banned everywhere. Holy Bring it shit! On. Oh my god! Yep. <laughs> it's just, and I run too, man. Like it's not. It's just. Oh my god! Like I'm sure, like Willie Colon and Bart Scott are gonna roast the shit out of them. Connor Rogers is a really good job. Oh yeah, let me put that on while we wait. I'm sure they're ripping them to shreds. I could, what I could do is, and the question is, what, which style do we get? Do we do, like, should I paint the beard on? Because his, his beard's died. There's no way that beard is real. He's, he's dying that shit. I kind of think you should go with the beard. Get to paint the beard on? Or just grow it out a little bit. <laughs> this is just, oh, this is going to be so bad. We're a coach in an offense away. Other than that, we're fine. What's it? Jets and Bills are fighting in the tunnel? What? Is that true? I just no. put on Jets post game. I don't see nothing. Is this true? Shocking if they are. That would be that'd be even more embarrassing. You just got your doors blown off. Now you're fighting in the fucking locker room. I mean, room. they were fighting in the fourth quarter, so. Let's see what's being said on Twitter. Yeah, Costello, Jets and Bills are fighting in the tunnel. I cannot tell who. Great. As as if losing wasn't bad enough, now we're doing this bullshit. Oh, this is well played, Romeo. Carissa Thompson reported it. Yeah. Oh. Sal has more kids than points tonight. Samini just tweeted a skirmish between Jets and Bills players in the tunnel. It got loud. Just embarrassing. What are we doing? I don't know. This is just so gross. Now they got the video on SNY, but there's nobody. Doesn't look like anyone's fighting. Oh. Uh. This got broken up already. It's done. Well, we're back. Officially. Officially back. Fighting in a locker room. Man, that's just like that's just like Bush League shit, dude. You got your doors blown off. Just act just act accordingly. Yeah, you put your head down, you walk back. Just own the shit. Uh Here we go. We're back at it, man. Kept tripping over ourselves. <laughs> yep. This Michelle said that one. She's like, we just kept tripping over ourselves today. Literally. Oh, my God. The jokes just write themselves at this point. They really do. Oh, my God. Um, hack it can't hack it. I remember this, those headlines from two decades ago. Rosenblatt tweeted a video of the tussle in the tunnel. All right, let's go look at this shit now. Got a couple minutes. Uh, is anything good? I'm trying to look. Some we were getting into the hard to see, but it was happening. Oh, who cares? Like, just lose and just be done with it. All right, I can't wait to see what they asked Solid. Like, what is what the changes were in like what is like legitimate changes were today? There weren't any changes. Uzama had less reps. Yep. He had one play with Cook and Hall both in the backfield. That was it. 
And then what else did you really change? Well, then you got to keep in mind, then that's not really yes, solid. Bradley. But hold yeah. on. But that's not Sala making a change because Hackett's running the show. So actually, yes. Hackett's, so maybe what is Hackett's making the change and just telling Sala what they are? That's how this is working? Well, maybe Sala asked permission from Hackett <laughs> if they could make a few personnel changes. <laughs> like, hey, coach, would this be okay if we tried this on offense? <laughs> Do I have your approval? <laughs> but he's like – um, Hey Hackett, what should I say to the press today? Like, what are we doing on offense to kind of like make you know, make things better? Oh, god damn it! I cannot believe we're here again. This locker room is gonna be a mess. That you know they like you're they're gonna you're gonna get all kinds of quotes today because if they're fighting with the Bills players, they're already pissed off. And then you have Quinn and Yellen at sauce. The defense hates the offense. Zach gets benched. Garrett Wilson. Well, it's all gonna come out this week. Not if not tonight, then just it's wait the next out. few days. The anonymous sources are going to be running rampant. The Josina yep. Anderson, she'll get some good quotes out there. Diana the likes Rossini, on Twitter. Get ready yep. for that. Diana Rossini is going to be doing her shit this week. It's all coming out. All the leaks will be coming out this week. Yep. The, the Jets are now unwatchable. There's nothing enjoyable about this. This is no. the diehards watch. We watch it week out, week in and week out because it's our team. But this is like last year, man. It's actually worse than last year. At least Mike White was fun. Last year. At least they were six and three last year. But Mike White, you at least you, you at least had a glimmer of hope. Like you thought maybe you can you could rally around them. You know you had broken ribs. Like you know Zach sucks. Just waiting on Sala now. There's, there's going to be a video of Quinn, Quinn and yelling at Sauce. Yep. And we appreciate you guys watching, man. And I listen. If Woody Johnson came out tomorrow and said they're firing Sala, it wouldn't break my heart at all. It's inevitable. It's going to happen anyway. It's just a matter of time. No, it's going to happen when when Rogers is done. Yep. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. If, if Rogers is only staying for Hackett, make Hackett the head coach. I don't even give a shit anymore. Who cares? He's obviously running the team anyway. Who gives a shit? Clearly, after today, make make Downing the offensive coordinator. Let Hackett run a team. Ulbrich runs the defense, and that's it. You're done. The motivational speeches can come from somebody else. Oh, man. Seven of 15, 81 passing yards for Zach. Disgusting. Touchdown, a pick, and five sacks. Sal is terrible, dude. He's terrible. You know, that's the one thing. Like, Rodgers getting here, you, you you bought into a lot of things. You believed in things. But remember, Primetime, we did say this. Remember early on, we're like, all right, Sal is inheriting a team that has these expectations that they have to win. What kind of head coach is he? Because last year, the team fell apart in the biggest years, biggest spots of the year. They literally yep. melted. Thursday night game against the Jaguars. Disaster. Went out to Seattle. Disaster. They literally melted last year. And he, he couldn't pull the trigger in the Jets-Patriots game when Zach couldn't get fucking three yep. points. I think that was the one question a lot of us had. How does he handle adversity? A lot, lot of expectations, a lot of locker room personalities. And the hope was that the quarterback was going to cover everything up. But, you know, like he said in August, I mean, the team was a quarterback away. And then you're spending all year trying to tell everybody, no, 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 we're, we're actually okay. Zach has grown. Yep. And it, you're, you're trying to sell everybody on, on the same quarterback that they all quit on last year. It's not going to work. Believe, doesn't believe motivating players or some shit. They say something like that. Like what? Yeah, it's not his job to, to motivate players, right? It's, just, it's a, it's a, it's like a play. The, the, the locker room should coach itself. He says yep. that often. Yep. And now it's like, it's all blowing up in his face. There's le literally no leadership and no accountability and no direction. And it's all going to blow up right now. And no changes. Nope. No, that's it. The video of Quinn Williams at his teammates was actually at Clemens. Oh, shit. Great. I thought, it looked, I, I thought it looked like it was like a huddle of a few guys. Sauce was definitely in there. I mean, because it was embarrassing that Sauce quit on the play. Quinn might not have seen that, though. It's all going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. Is he is he played in the – where's that – I missed the cut. chat's going so fast right now. He played in the fourth quarter, man. He played late and the game was over. He had a couple returns, kick returns. Yeah, when the game was over. Yeah. Yeah, locker room guys. Yeah, guys love the game of football. Your offense is dreadful. Dreadful. Can we just start this press conference? You know why the press conference is late, Gary? I'm telling you right now. The Jets have to make sure they're all on the same page as they make excuses, how they bench sack, what all went wrong, what we're all going to say, tell the locker room what to say so they don't embarrass themselves. But you can only do so much damage control on this shit. So much, so much spin control before the truth comes out. And the fans know the truth. 
Got to go through the chain of command. Yep. Joe Douglas probably has a speech right now for all these guys. Say this, say this, say this, say this. Yep. Bro, I, I like Snoopy, I wouldn't mind. It doesn't bother me. You want to fire Sodomar? Go for it. There's what what would literally change? Nothing's gonna change. It's they suck. And you want to if you want to criticize Joe Douglas, you can go through all of his moves he's made since he's been here. He's made a shitload of mistakes, starting with Zach Wilson. And then yep. how he doubled down and kept buying into this kid and forcing him down our throats, and the kid wasn't ready. That's on him, dude. You drafted him, right? Not, not the second offensive coordinator. Same quarterback, second offensive coordinator. How many scapegoats do you want to have? It's Todd Bowles all over again. Disaster after the buy, 100%. I'm telling you, dude, I almost – this is terrible. I almost wish they lost that giant game because it would put so much more of an onus on this coach and be like showing how bad this has really been. But that was, you know what I mean? If you lose a game when you have negative nine passing yards. the Well, the, the only reason, obviously, as a fan, you get excited for the win was that it put you at four and three. And you're thinking, all right, maybe if you're not getting a, a false sense of hope by the way you're winning, which we saw last year was not sustainable, maybe you can still make a move at the deadline. You find a way to save your season. But they just sat around and didn't do anything. Nope. It's gotten worse. It's getting progressively worse. Have fun at the game, man. You can honestly, you can give me, you could offer me luxury box seats, free booze all day. I wouldn't go to that game. I'm out. No free fans. booze, I think you would go. Nope, 100%. I can still do that. I, I can't. I don't want. I don't want them to have any more of my. Just I don't want to. Just I can't do it. The, the best part of not going to the game is once it's over, you just fucking your rest of your day is to yourself. I don't have to sit in two hours of traffic. I don't deal with all that bullshit, especially on Black Friday. Everybody's out fucking shopping at the friggin' mall next door. Yeah, that's true. Think about the traffic deal with that. That's going to be a nightmare. The first time they were doing it, too. And the, So the Jets can't handle parking on a regular day. You're going to add in Black Friday to the fucking mix? Idiots. I'm sure they're going to be well-prepared. Yeah, yeah. Just Extra like parking offense. attendance. Yeah, just like their offense. Well-prepared. Mm -hmm. Solid is, like, extra late for this one. Hell you. Joe Douglas had to give him a speech to, to say. Got to say this. Got to say that. Brees Hall's already talking right now on TV. Uh, I'll stream. Yeah, I'm definitely streaming. I'll stream it. Of course. Why not? I doubt I'm going. Here he goes. He's on. Let's go, coach. There we go. Uh, Tony Adams came back. He, he was doing with a dislocated uh, finger, but he's fine. And then um, guys dealing with an ankle. We'll check him out tomorrow. Um, 29-6. Uh, he's trying to see if we can get some going on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, we're going to watch the tape and just and, uh, we'll make a decision tomorrow. Um, we'll look at all of it. I'm, I'm not going to answer those questions. Um, I don't think anyone did anything today. Uh, players, coaches, schemes. It wasn't. Uh, it was obviously not good enough. Um, but uh, it, none of it was good enough. Robert, you told us before that you would make a quarterback change if you believed that it wasn't just the quarterback. So why did you make the change? Today? Like I said, it was twenty nine six, and uh, you know, like I said, like I told Zach on the sideline, it's you know, it's not just him. Uh, it's easy to point to the quarterback, but. Yep. Um, I mean, it's 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 pretty easy to see. You, you got missed protections. You got drop balls. You got nothing on hacky yet. You, got, um, you know, now obviously he's got to get better. There's things that he could have done a lot better, but it's it's everyone right now. Uh, you know, credit to them. I thought they came in and, and battled. Um, you know, it's they're here because they can play. You know, mm -hmm. so we've got to we've got to line up. We got to find ways to. Uh, they're here because they can play. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, generate a scheme that protects them, but also gives them a chance to be successful. So we're uh, it's an exciting opportunity for them. That's a big thing, and uh, we'll see what what we can do with them. Did not complete a pass to a wide receiver. What goes into something like that? 
Zach didn't complete a pass to a wide receiver. Um, I, you know what? I, I, I don't have an answer for that. I'll, I'll Wonderful. Just, he pleads the fifth. Tape and just, uh, but none I of don't it, have like an I answer. Said, whether it's um, separation, being more decisive, protecting. Um, like I said, none of it was good. Enough. Um, thought Tim came in. He was decisive, got rid of the ball. Um, you know, he was uh, – he did a good job. The fourth four down throws uh, uh, at the end of the game was a bit of a force, uh, just trying to get the ball out of his hands. I asked more Zach questions. I don't give a fuck about Tim Boyle. Um, why are they giving? Why are they letting Sal off the hook here? Fuck the Tim Boyle question. Not a lot to say about the changes you guys are gonna make. You know, guys out there, players meeting. What was it? Kind of surprising to you that the, the way they played today, coming out after everything you guys have talked about this week. No, um, you know they're young. Uh, young kids make mistakes. And um, you can go through it all. You had, you know, the opening kickoff, obviously the fumble. Um, um, you know, um, um, it, um, drop um, balls, fumbles. You know, Garrett, he's um, still young. I know we expect a lot out of him, but he's going to have his mistakes. He's got to, and he's dealing with the, he's dealing with the brace and all that stuff. So there's, it's all the way across the board, you know. But uh, so many they'll get better. They'll learn from this. Uh, scars yeah, sometimes always uh, accelerate the process in terms of getting better. And scars accelerate the process. process. That's another thing. Oh, um, you go one game at a time. Yeah, you one have game at a time. To, um, we got a great opportunity with Miami this week. High, yeah, high octane offense. So I'm no, I know yep. defensively we'll be excited to attack it, but mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, offensively and special teams. Um, they're first in the division, and um, obviously one of those teams that uh, has got championship aspirations. So we're, you know, we got to get excited for this one. Do you feel that the defense this week finally broke with the pressure just not getting the football? No, um, the, the I believe defense takes a lot of pride in its play, and uh, there are two plays in that in that second half, the first two series that I know a lot of guys want backs, um, especially. Uh, I'll speak for Sauce. Uh, the uh, the personal foul, and then on the next series, um, on that scene ball, he uh, he's, he's got a, he's got a chance to go pick that one. But uh, but either way, like again, give credit to to Buffalo. Thought they came in, they played a patient style of game. Credit John to Buffalo. Credit. Give more, credit. Um, didn't play as much hero ball as we're used to seeing, and uh, he's much more decisive. And uh, so we'll give them credit. Uh, they had a really good game plan. Give them credit. Fuck out of here. The the beginning, just the expectation part. Yeah. Okay. Um. Expectations are expectations. Obviously, there's. Uh, you can. You know, we we knew we were going to face some adversity this year, and uh, we've been able to battle adversity and with some good good games, not so good games like today, but. Um, but I know this group was, is resilient and it'll uh, get back up. You've off. lost three in a row. Well, 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 like it's for the fact that play the coach in the booth today. What would that decision? Uh, just to give him another perspective, get up there and uh, yeah, to works. get away from it, quiet his world down. And uh, <laughs> uh, having is that your decision or his decision? So they can communicate. To quiet his world down. And, uh, <laughs> fuck it. That was about it. How do we want to affect your quarterback decisions? You have to make a pretty quick decision. Um. Yeah, everything's accelerated. Uh, you don't have Monday and Tuesday to to, to dissect and, and breathe for a second. Quiet but, his environment uh, down. We'll, we'll Quiet his world. It, obviously. Right, right. That's what I heard you guys have issues on the line. His world is loud. This is bad. Yeah. This is as bad as it gets. Um, well, it's, it's definitely an offense that needs to get better. Let's put it that way. No shit. Right, guys. Thank you. And with that... I mean, Jeff how do you, season. how do you, how do you like when, when just as an owner of an organization, I'm thinking like Woody Johnson is a businessman, right? This is a yep. billion dollar business. If an, as an owner of an organization, you listen to your head coach say, I really don't have an answer for that. Like, do, do you like, what do I, what am I paying you for? Like if you're he's getting, got, he's got to watch the tape first. He's got to watch the tape first, bro. It's getting worse every week. What exactly am I paying you for? If Hackett is running the offense, the other guy is running the defense, and you're basically sitting here and you can't give answers, then what exactly are you doing on the sideline? Like, what is he doing? Unless he the answers are answers. unless the answers are answers that he doesn't want to give because he's not allowed to make them. 
And he's and he's scared to say, listen, well, you know, Garrett Wilson fumbled. It was a really bad fumble, but he had a hurt elbow. So now the now we're gonna we're gonna excuse the fumble now, too. How about you hold everybody accountable? Stop being their friend. They're not your friends. They're your they're your players. You hold them all accountable. It's like a double standard, dude. He, he tries to be friends with all of them, though. That that's his way of maintaining respect or some kind of credibility in the locker room, like being able to hold his hat on the fact that he doesn't try to embarrass guys or throw anybody under the bus. But when, when you're making the same mistakes week after week and you can't put up points, I mean, at some point you got to change your style up as a head coach, change bro, your message. What's going to happen is they're your friend until things go bad, and then they're going to turn on you, and you're going to lose your job. That's yep. between a good coach and a bad coach. That's the difference, dude. Like his mindset, the way he's handling this, like that hard knock shit was bullshit, dude. That was made yeah. for TV shit. Because I thought that's not the coach that's on his team, dude. No. He is a timid pushover. Well, no, that, that, that's the coach he is when there's a reason to have positive vibes. When your record is zero and, uh, zero, and zero and you can tout the future and you can tout hope and what we're going to be, yeah, he could be that way. But then once they actually start losing and doing shit wrong, then that's where you see him arms folded and he doesn't have an answer. He's got like a front row seat to watch a game. It's all he has. He's like a glorified cheerleader. He's worse than Bulls, dude. I'm, I'm, I don't think he's worse than Bulls. You don't think so? They're, they're the same. Good, good defensive coordinators that can't find anybody to run their offense, that can't develop a quarterback, that don't hold anybody accountable. It's the same kind of shit. Yeah, and now it's like – and it's funny because a lot of things you're seeing with this offense is that things that Broncos fans are saying he saw last year with, with Russell Wilson. Yep. The same kind of shit. Yep. I don't know, man. Like – if you're like, I don't like for fans going to the game on Friday. Good for you. I wouldn't be going. I wouldn't be putting more money on this team. I wouldn't. It's not worth it anymore. And what's it? What it's like? What do you like? What's the yeah. level? Like if he comes out and says, cause he won't say shit today because after the game, he never offers any kind of like bold statements no. tomorrow. If he comes out in his Monday press conference and says, you know what? Zach gives us the best chance to win, bro. How do you even like, if you're a Jeff fan, you'd be like, you know what? I'm not going to the fucking game. Like I'm not going. Right, like, how can you even? Who wants to go spend your Friday afternoon with all the money and go watch this team, with Zach Wilson? They're, they're 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 gonna give Zach Wilson another shot. The only thing they're gonna change is they they actually got a chance now to look at Tim Boyle, a guy they knew wasn't ready to actually play based on all the decisions he they here? made. So now Simeon will get called up. Boyle will go to the practice squad. That that'll be their one move to put a little. But look, pressure but look on at look at this is gonna be my video. I'm talking now, but what's gonna bother me is if if they're gonna say Tim Boyle isn't ready to play. Then look at the decisions they made, Primetime. They made the decision to bring these guys here. They decided yep. to keep Zach. They decided to keep Tim Boyle. They didn't want Dobbs. They didn't want none of these other guys out there. They didn't want Brissett, Minshew, none of these, Bridgewater, none of these other guys. Bullshit. Yep. Just punting away another season. Uh, all right. I'm sick of it. This is going to be a really fun postgame interview because now I'm fucking pissed. I am. I'm, I'm oh, done. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Brace yourselves because it's going to be another day of like the, the anger, embarrassment of getting pounded on them, and another solid press conference too before our show too. So that's going to be great. Good times. Talk to you guys later. Later. Fuck, fuck this team. <laughs>